All right. Um, so like I said before, uh, this basically was the strongest area for the continuation um, uh, on, on, on that specific move from, from basically from last, from last night. This, this area right here, last night as a recap here for the ones who missed the cells from last night, this is your resistance. Uh, coming from previous areas of rejection like this one, this is kind of fake up, low, low volume already in the, in the session. So it tends to do this, like uh, giving some sort of fake outs. The main rejection here is basically this one. It's near to the 1820. This is the, the liquidity. This is the main rejection. You need to pay attention when you're uh, looking for the continuation of the move. Now, what happened uh, overnight? Yeah, overnight price came basically to retest previous areas of rejection. And yesterday, this was the rejection that I was talking on the chat, the, the 1810 rejection, basically this one right here. So for us, last night was quite uh, easy to, to get the drop, but going to the 1810 can be dangerous because of this plain and simple rejection here. Now price managed to break below, beautiful to the downside, something that uh, yeah, any other any other day that you're trading during London, pre-London is in session, you see bodies of the candles get, driving price really nice and easy. Pay attention how the continuation happened because this specific candle here is telling you a lot of things. This candle is telling you there's a lot of volume to the downside now. Why all of a sudden after that specific drop, heavy drop, all these candles are respecting this low. The moment price is, is closing above this, uh, this specific candle, then you know that the correction is coming for a, for a pullback as a possible correction where the pullback can happen to the previous area of, of, um, of contention or maximum to a key level. A strong key level in here, the 20. The 15 is not as strong as the 20 as well. The 10 is stronger than the 15 as, uh, you know, as well. And the 1810 is stronger than the 1805. Now, this rejection early in the morning, right uh, before the, the basically a, a pre New York, giving you this specific fake out on the five minute, this is cake. Since then, think of this like, for example, this is something that I always, uh, I always say. Uh, think of this, for example, like, if, if you want to look for a continuation to the downside, if that's your fake out price doesn't need to come back to that area that basically doesn't exist in, in your chart. The main area of contention will be this specific candle right here, the, the, the previous one, the bearish, this, this bearish can be something up to this area right here. And the fake out can, can come from this specific area. And then you have to pay attention what may happen here. If that's a, a valid rejection, because this is, you know, plain and simple continuation for the daily, man, the moment that candle is, is giving you this specific uh, retest and this candle breaking that low and closing below that area, go for it. Have a, a decent, if you have to use a, a decent stop loss, use this one. Price is, is giving you a rejection and breaking above this candle right here, close 50%. You know, and manage your trade accordingly in here because if prices, it, it will give you the continuation. First of all, uh, we'll need to respect the high of the of the confirmation, uh, the resistant candle, basically, uh, which is uh, this is your resistant after the fake out has happened. This is your resistant, and this is your confirmation of resistance. Basically, the same that happened here is just that we didn't have the continuation because this candle is respecting this low. Is respecting the law of the uh, of the confirmation, but when you have the confirmation candle and the next one, the third candle breaking that low, if you have already watched some of the videos that I have on the uh, gold webinars in, in the Vimeo folder, you you will not you already know what happened uh, when you have the confirmation of resistance. In this case, it's this one right here, and the third candle breaks that low. This is small little tiny retest here. That's good. And then you can easily use, you know, if you go to the lower time frame there, you can easily use your stop loss uh, after you enter in that trade and the pullback happen. You can easily, to be really picky there, you can easily use that specific uh, that specific rejection uh, as your stop loss, basically. Since uh, since the candle is breaking that low, uh, that high, look, let's move to the to the pullback here. This is the, the the beginning of the, uh, let me see, this one right here, where's this one, this candle right here. This is the candle that gives you the, the closing, the 45. And this candle right here is the is the opening of a new, or a, on a new candle here. That's basically your five minute candle. That's your five minute candle close. Now, what happened is you wait for a little, for a pullback, and that's your pullback. 
now if you have to be really picky here and you don't want to use this this whole area or this whole area as your stop loss you can be really picky using a stop loss in here and if you see price uh breaking above this area because this is little tiny structure here is it's literally nothing in a stop loss to consider that entry the moment that this candle which is in the lower time range, really low time frame no you know the confirmation is not as strong as a, as a five minute but it works the same because it's price action and, the, and price action is what we will learn in here if this is a valid support next candle needs to respect the low and break the high and give you the correction the continuation if this if the next candle instead of breaking uh respecting the low and breaking the high is doing the opposite then the continuation is there and therefore it's an easy steady move easy and steady move right there now your main area of contention is is this one right here right there in the lower time range uh i don't i don't like talking about the, the lower time frame like the one minute because you can easily get confused with the lower time frame but this is you know i will say on a daily basis you will have easy easy moves on gold like this and man this this morning was basically plain and simple uh it's so easy so easy that's why i was like mm, man uh hope somebody somebody catch that move from those from those from that break below this area right here that was really nice and an easy confirmation to be honest and you'd be surprised why gold is, is is going all the way down and maybe you you know whoever enter here or maybe with this volume right here entering in this area going but they don't pay attention to the main area here to the main uh, picture the main picture is that the daily candle right here is rejecting previous areas of rejection across the board so you don't you don't need to be a here or here planning that this daily candle it may happen i mean i, I can be wrong market is always right I, I i may be wrong but uh you know thinking that this daily candle will engulf all these candles right here yeah i think it's a it's a you know no uh in my opinion so you know the, what makes sense is pullback and then continuation at this point that daily candle can easily close the way it is for the uh for the rest of the for the rest of the session meaning that we may see uh, some sort of range main areas of contention here obviously uh is the the 10 the 10 area uh this this 18 10 here uh, uh, uh -oh. 18 10 and obviously the 20 uh in this area right here is the 20. below the 10 nothing has changed the 1800 is what is what what makes complete sense in here and leaving this specific rejection for for maybe tomorrow maybe uh you know friday will be interesting if we come back to retest the 1800 and this previous rejection doesn't hold any longer and then we can easily see a continuation of steady move to the downside at that point the main area uh as, as targets will be basically these areas right here and we're talking a lot of pips in here at least i will say to the 90 that's 100 pips and move for a for new year session can be really nice other than that something that may work today as well is uh if this daily candle manage to uh to respect the previous structure uh, from the high from the highest areas and close like this for example if this candle close like this then is in session little to no pullback right here and a possible continuation is in session can have a trouble a problem uh, you know driving price below this pre reaction below the 1800 because it's a strong but london session can do the job as well new york session can do the job and you'd be surprised if that by tomorrow you have another daily candle like this friday may be correction and taking a massive move to the downside if this daily candle managed to close below the 1805 at least this is the main area that i'm paying attention because uh, i already had a retest to the 18 1808 so leaving that 1808 means that we're going back to the 18 1805 and hopefully hopefully if the, if the volume is good and the session is not uh, you know is not giving you a lot of fake calls here we may see a, an easy one going to the 1800s today but uh from now on will be you know the main uh, the main uh, the main idea here is how price act at this specific area this one right here because this is the london candle this is the support so what if this candle is just doing a plain and simple pullback to the previous four hour candle support and we in this candle failed to break this low right here then we may see range 
or we may see another push to the 20s. But from now on, you know, it's looking like it, it's going to be an easy one uh, to the downside. Um, in the lower time frames here, uh, 15 minute candle here. Uh, the main 15 minute candle that I'm, I'm, I'm quite, uh, uh, you know, uh, worry about is how price can react again at the 15 area. This one right here. This is my candle. This is, this is the, 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 the heaviest pullback for New Year session will be this 15. If price is giving me another rejection from the 15, man, can, get, can be an easy one. Going back to retest this previous area and leaving this the low from the four hour candle right here. We, we may have uh, an easy one leaving uh, basically uh, this, this previous area. Leaving that previous area can be an easy one. So hope hope that helps. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Karen, on yeah. those two five minute candle, let me let me annotate. I, yeah, I give will... me one second. Let me zoom zoom a, a lot more so you guys can see it clearly, right there. Uh huh. These two these two five minute candles. If if when I was like on on that on that trade, I was like these two candles because as soon as this one broke the the previous high, I uh -huh. I'm 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 out because. Why? Because we had all this mess right here. I was like, maybe this the, those two candles are reacting to 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 this range, so we may have like a deeper pullback. Um, like, no. right? No. Uh, yeah, I I get I, I get what you mean. I mean, where uh, did you enter? Where, where where was your entry? It was a paper trade, right? Oh no, no. Oh, uh, let, let me. My my entry was exactly at uh, eighteen fifteen point eight six. Eighteen fifteen point eight six. On the five minutes, it was basically like roughly there. right here. No, no. Let me let me edit it. Oh, it was right here. This one. Yeah. This was your entry. Okay. Yeah. Now. To be honest, um, the main area uh, that you can easily consider price trading inside this area right here, the main area of contention will be uh, that one right there, this this area right here. So entering in here, you have to risk it for the biscuit with the stop loss outside this area if you if you're planning to hold that that trade right, unless you're looking uh, for a quick move to the downside to retest the previous support. This move right here, look what happened here. I, I want you guys pay attention uh, because this uh, is mostly in a daily basis. It's almost every day it, this happened. A push, fake out, and then prices start trading in the range. I want you guys practice on your charts, mapping out, uh, you know, this is something that I, I, I was planning to do, uh, like giving you guys homework. I know it's like over 300 members, and if I can get the, the feedback, at least from 10 of you, that will be awesome. I know that you guys are, are putting the work. Now, pay attention what may happen on a daily basis when you have some sort of a structure and how to spot the fake out before it happened. How to spot a fake out before it happened. What it tends to happen is the price create a range, then a push, a heavy push. And is in most cases, it's counter trend. The push happened against the higher time frame against the daily, against the, the, the weekly candle, then it's going to a certain key level. And this is the easiest way to spot those, those, those areas or, or fake out. In here, another one. This was previous area. We are, we're going bearish. This doesn't mean start buying. This is why I, I always say, man, don't go, don't, don't go doing the, the, the dummy game you know, for now, pay attention to the higher time frames. And I don't care if you don't take a trade today, if you don't take a trade the whole week, because all the, the, the lower time frames were giving you confirmations to, 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 uh, to look for buys instead of sells. And we miss the sells. It's okay. You don't, you know, it, it's, it's the learning what matters, you know, it's, it's the education what matters. But on a daily basis, when we are count, when we are in a, in a bearish market, look for pullbacks as a form of entry for you as a confirmation so you can enter for the next for the next drop. This move right here, this is a previous structure right here. Until the move happened, it's really easy to say, oh, this is a pullback, yeah, because price broke and then close inside. No, but do it on your charts. You know, like draw something like this, for example. Draw something like this. Oh, the push. 
So what are my options? I know that this is counter trending, but what if price come back and start closing inside my resistance? Then that means that price will, will need to stay below the previous reaction that I had as a form of fake out before the main fake out happened because I'm looking for sales. I'm not looking for buys. No, 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 I'm looking for sales. So the moment price is closing inside this area, if I have a, a body of the candle closing inside my, my range, I will try to enter with that confirmation and I may have a, 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 a plain and simple stop loss here outside the previous rejection. There's gonna be days that you, you get stopped out because price won't give you an easy job ho uh, holding a certain position, but you will be training your, your eyes for the long term in this game. You're not gonna be looking for 10 pips or 20 pips counter trending, something that is a stupid bearish. No, you're looking for the bigger picture and you're looking for 100, 200, 300 pips to, to a certain direction. And these, these trades right here, they pay on a daily basis. This trade right here, look what happened yesterday, right? Yesterday, remember what happened? This was a range from yesterday. Before all that that, that, mess, that mess happened, this was basically the range that we had. Now, price trading above this area, beautiful push. It's against, against all the all odds because this is just plain and simple pullback. And the only confirmation you have yesterday for buys was the previous daily candle. Now, the moment price is closing inside this area, you may have an easy job looking for the continuation. Remember uh, the last thing I drew yesterday when this candle basically, uh, hope you guys paid attention yesterday because when this candle rejected the, after the, the, basically this is a, a breather and we took that trade. We took that trade outside this area and we went for this trade right here just before the 15 minute candle or the, the, the hourly candle close. When this candle was trading in this area, specific area, I closed most of my position. What happened later? Price came back and closed again in this area. And this candle right here is the first candle. This candle right here hasn't closed inside the range. Look at this candle right here. This is the first candle that closed inside the range. And now price needs to stay trapped in this specific area. I'm looking for sales long-term because this is the pullback that I mentioned on the weekly outlook, price going to the 1830 and then the 1830 gave me a, a, a better entry to run my, my, my positions to the 1800s maybe. Now, this candle right here is the first candle after the, the push happened. This candle is saying, well, I don't have any business going for upside. This is the retest already to the previous structure right here, as well the previous 15 minute candle when this candle was retesting this area, I closed I closed uh, some of the positions right here because I was like, yeah, I'm going to secure even more because what if this candle is just the 15 minute candle given the retest to the, to the previous one right here and this is my hourly candle high. And I had a beautiful move again. This trade is giving me the opportunity to exit my, my positions here at a, at a better price than exit positions in here. Now, this candle closing inside the range and this candle retesting the top of the range and the main rejection you have with, with the microscope here, bring a scalpel. Bring a scalpel and start doing your surgery here because this candle will pay. This is the candle that I was like, yeah, man, this is, you know, this is the one price can easily go back. And I drew a, a, a long ass, uh, you know, uh, uh, short position here from this, from, I think it was from these lows or from these areas right here going all the way to the to the 1800 basically and you have and you need to trust the higher time frame you need to trust the higher time frame and you only look for the lower time frames as a confirmation so you can get a better risk reward you don't need to uh, use a hourly candle a four hour candle uh, as a confirmation uh, to to take a trade and using a previous hourly candle previous four hour candle high as a possible stop loss because it's, it's insane it's something that you as a, as a retail trader can cannot uh, uh, be able to, you're not supposed to be doing that. You know, using a 30 minute candle high as a possible stop loss. No, don't do it. Your risk reward is, is good enough on the five minutes. And if you know price action, price action is king. You don't need to be guessing in, in, in this business. So this candle right here, since that candle did the retest, boom, boom, boom to the downside. And this area right here was the main contention area. I think the drawing that I did was in this area right here. And the, your stop loss at that point will be this area world. Why this area? Because man, because this area already gave you the reactions that you need for that continuation. So you can easily have a stop loss here and let that uh, that trade breathe a little bit more. And since then, <clears throat> was basically an easy one, an easy, easy job uh, for the rest of the for the rest of the session. And 
this is the same thing that happened uh, basically this morning. This one right here is creating that support. You don't buy this thing. No, you start selling when the price is closing inside that area right there. This was, you know, plain and simple, easy, easy trade. And, and now it's basically doing exactly the same thing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a must. And you'd be surprised how trading can be so easy. And for me, it's easy to, to, to see the most because I don't pay attention what GJ is doing, what AUD, USD is doing, what U, 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 UJ is doing. No, no, no. My bread and butter is gold. I don't care what happened <clears throat> across the board with 20,000 pairs that may be there. Maybe cryptos, uh, US 30. I don't care. This thing right here pays on a daily basis if you're dedicated enough to see the things before they happen. And this is just plain and simple continuation. It, you, don't, you don't need the stress of counter trending something that is, is, he, is, is hell of a bearish. You know, this move yesterday, yeah, made complete sense because of the rejection on this candle. But after that rejection and this rejection, this daily candle close, closing bearish, I don't have any business looking for buy. No, I know that sometimes pays, you know, sometimes pays, especially depending the session that you're trading, but in most cases doesn't. So, you know, you'd be surprised why you str you're still struggling, uh, you know, uh, at maybe a break even, at break even in, in your trading. And it's because you're not paying attention to the higher time frames, I bet. Sometimes, yes, you get stopped out. I, I, I agree. Sometimes. I, I get stopped out so many times. I, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to change the way that I trade. No, I'll be looking for exactly. My trading is, is simple. I don't, I, I don't over risk in most cases. I don't counter trend in most cases. And I always look for a better risk reward. Always. It's a, for me, it's a must. Looking for a, anywhere between one to three. Uh, a, a, a one, re, one, re, uh, one to three a risk reward is, is a must for me. If I had to use a one to one, nah, that's that's more more stressful than than you know than than anything. It, it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But if you guys can, you know, if you guys can can start digging in your charts and, and spot the, the higher time frames, the dailies, the weeklies, and then look only for those specific moves in that direction, you will see how easy it is to trade, especially gold. I don't care about any other pair. I have some in my list in here, but I don't care about these pairs. My pair is, is gold. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, man. Good morning, Kerwin. Morning, Michael. How are you, brother? Uh, learning every day with your with your awesome knowledge. I'm so grateful to be a part of the group. Thank you, and, brother. Uh, as, as I listen to you, I just ask myself questions like, like you knowing the markets and the price action like you do, how, how do you find the discipline not to over risk? Like, I mean, I'm not saying, I don't over risk personally, but I tell myself if I, like you kind of have a crystal ball. If I have that crystal ball, sometimes I'd be like, let's go, you know? Yeah. Um... No, I I know I know uh, I say that I don't over risk, but it's a it's a lie because in, in total honesty, sometimes I slap that thing with two or three positions in a row, you know, because yeah. I I'm not changing the the one click trade. So instead of using a maybe a one a, a one a maybe a 05 percent uh, risk in certain trades, I go for four, I go for six percent, sometimes higher than that or, or more than that. But I'm looking. The thing is, when I'm using like a uh, Friday, <clears throat> Friday, uh, let me go to Friday. Friday, I was shorting gold and my hands literally were sweating. Why? Because I had eight positions. So basically I was full margin. I was full margin the trade and my, my hands were sweating because basically half of the profits from the week we're put on that specific trade, and I don't like feeling like that. You know, it's it, it, it's something that I'm not I'm not used to it. I'm not used to the, the those things because market can give you a, a a really hard time in a in a in a a monster pullback, and you have to be really careful. And then the magic is in one hand. The moment that trade is moving twenty pips, ten pips, you have to be closing fifty percent. So at the end of the of the of the candle, you're more stress than than just holding a certain position like for example if i had to add a six eight percent in one single position i'll be closing 50 percent every time that price moved maybe five pips five pips 
And in, in, in some cases, the broker, the, the it happens that the spread opens kind of a, a little bit more than, than used to it. And then what happened is that instead of closing maybe five, seven pips in profits, then you have, you're you closing maybe two pips in profits, three pips in profits. And all you're doing is basically uh, paying commission for those trades instead of instead of letting that trade. Like, for example, if I'm using a six per, a six percent in one single shot and maybe in, 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 in two positions, in three positions at once in, 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 in that trade. Right. What will happen is that I'm so stressed about that position over risking, over over leveraging, not over leveraging, but at least over risking. So what happened is that I don't have that ability and that easy work to hold my position for a little bit longer. No, I'll be closing, 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 closing. As, as soon as the price is, is moving 10 pips, I'll be closing another 50%, 50%, 50%. And it's not good. I, I, you know, I love the moment I enter for my discipline, for my, for my, for, for the ability uh, that I have. And for the sake of simplicity, the moment I enter a trade, I let that trade breathe. The moment I put a certain amount of money on the table on that trade, I don't care. If I get stopped out, well, I get stopped out. I know that the next day I will have, a, a, you know, I will have a more opportunities. But if I had to, if I had to over risk on, on one specific trade, man, it's too much stress for me. <clears throat> it's too much stress for me. So that's why I don't, I don't try, I, I, I avoid uh, over risking. I avoid taking uh, too much, too many positions at once, unless I know that I'm only looking for 20, uh, 15, 20 pips in that specific position. But if it, if I have to let a, a certain trade breathe, man, I can I can use one percent, I can use two percent, <clears throat> no more than that. But I know that the trade will will need to give me the return that I want because I don't do anything if I have to use, for example, if I have to use a a four percent over risking right if i had to use a four percent <clears throat> on this candle right here when that candle is closing inside the range and trading inside this area right here at the moment that candle is pulling back i'll be closing two percent in here i'm okay. already i'm yeah. already minus two percent in that specific position and the trade is going this way right here another two okay. percent in most cases that happened <clears throat> now what if i'm only risking two percent with the original stop loss here I will, I will be willing to avoid of closing any any position, any pullback. I will be willing to hold that position with my with the pullback, whatever. And I, I will have this specific risk for that trade, but I will let that trade breathe. I don't care if that trade is doing something like this the entire morning, but my stop loss will be there. Instead of closing <coughs> one minus 1% 1 in here, and then try, uh, price reversing and adding another 2% in here later on and price going back and adding another 1% in here and maybe uh, uh, closing 1% in loss, then I'll be, I'll be super pissed off because my job was risking in one specific uh, trade and looking for the bigger picture and going for, for that specific trade, no matter what. <clears throat> Ooh, but, is melting. Yeah, it's melting, it's really nice. It's really nice. Hey, hey Kerwin. Good morning. Morning, brother. How are you? Good, man. Good. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to add to what you said. I used to do that, man. Like when you you think you are doing really good, and then you think, oh, this time I'm just gonna add a little bit more, you know, bigger lot size, because you know I know where it's gonna go, and then boom, that's the one that takes you out, and then you're just you're in pain. You know, it's not worth even yeah. if you know where it's gonna move and how it moves. Just keep using the proper risk, or else yeah. you'll get burned. Yeah. One day you'll get burned, man. So yeah. I've already done that. I've learned from that. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, and that's the thing. That's the thing. It's adding too much stress to your trading plan. And, yeah. and I I understand someone who's using big lots and you know closing ten pips because it's it's way too much pressure. You know, so you have to be you have to be really careful when you're 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 having a a a, a heavy drag down. <clears throat> yeah and Kevin, can you hear me i i can yes yeah so the price is below the key level 1810 yeah. and um new york, new york session is about to open right now mm -hmm. so what do you expect that the price will um pull back to towards the key level uh, get rejection rejection from there and uh, pull down again if uh, or, uh, yeah. if there's any in here, mm -hmm. the bearish pressure is, is on. If, it, if there's any, you need to be really careful what may happen at the 11 area right here. This area 
is previous area of rejections. This is the max pullback you want to see with uh, with uh, with New York session. Something uh, that we we need to pay attention is uh, this specific area here. Uh, look at the four hour here. Remember, uh, the main area of contention was the, the four hour low. Now this four hour candle broke the high and broke the low, leaving this daily low right here. It's extra 20 pips to the downside. Extra 20 pips. And if it's happening with this with this hourly candle after the pullback is completed and breaking that low, then can be an easy one. <clears throat> can be an easy job to the 1805 at least. Uh, basically this. But if the bear, if the bearish pressure is on, most likely price won't stop at the 1805. It will give you a straight drop. <clears throat> These candles are respecting the daily low. This is the worst area to sell now, unless price is leaving this specific low right here. If price is leaving this low, then yeah, go for it. You have 20 pips. And if this candle right here is giving you that specific pullback right there, that's the highest point that the hourly candle will go before the continuation. This is the highest one from now. This is the first one minute of New York, New York session. If this five minute candle respect its own high and break this low and start breaking below this area right here, this will be your stop loss. At that point, you'll be looking <clears throat> for a short position somewhere here. And maybe with the stop loss, obviously something like this and something like this. It's basically one to one, but you need price <clears throat> respecting that high over there. If you had to sell it from now, from, from this specific area, can be dangerous because remember the pullback can happen all the way up to this area right here. That's the problem here. And it's trading at the daily low. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> see that, that, that five minute candle still have some juice to the upside. And based on, on the four hour candles here, this, can be a, a whole range, but leaving this specific area will be 20 pips really nice and easy. If we go to the 1800s today, I'll, I'll be I'll be happy, really happy. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, can we consider yourself on the break of the 15? Oh, well, I missed the question. Um, I'll be right back when you can always place a stop loss at the 15 minute kind of high, okay, one minute. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, 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 waiting for the last 30 minutes uh, was good. Uh, current open uh, pips. Well, I missed a lot of, missed a lot of questions here. Uh, okay. Uh, 14, yes, after that rejection, the break of those rejections was good as well. Uh, and this one as well, another rejection breaking that low makes complete sense with a stop loss above this area. Yeah, 1810 was a good target for that. Nice work. Nice work. Um, yeah. Let it do his thing. Just let it do his thing. Hey, Kurt. Yeah, man. In in this case, when we have like this big momentum to the downside, the like like it's like a big bleeding of, of the price. Will will you be waiting for like a, a like a five minute close on on below this area, or you once just price is is starting to break you, you'll be triggering the sell. Uh, I'll be waiting. Um, sec, let me delete all these runs. You guys don't need these runs anymore, maybe. Um, so main area of rejection and contention is this one right here. You don't this. It's okay to have that push, but all of a sudden in the last one minute, that candle body closing below this area if the continuation is is on. Now, main main idea here will be if the continuation is valid. This is the this is the rejection main key level here is this one right here. So the moment you have five minute candles closing like this after a fake out has happened and another five minute candle doing something like this, the moment you have a pullback here, a pullback to the confirmation of the, the of the resisting candle and breaking this specific low, you have a nice work to do to the downside, something like this and something obviously like this with volume, right? Leaving this specific area right here will be good. Because at that point, 
if it's living data specific area, you can easily try something impulsive here. Why? Because you know that you have another 20 pips to the downside below the 1807. You have another 20 pips to the key level to the nearest uh, key level, which is the 1805. <clears throat> but obviously, you need price leaving uh, this specific area. This pullback, it's okay to have this pullback right here. But if I have two five minute candles later on in this area giving me the resistance, uh, again, this one right here will be my resistance, and this will be my confirmation of resistance. After the third candle is doing the pullback to the confirmation of resistance, respecting the high and breaking the low, go for it because this area can be your stop loss for the continuation to the downside there. <clears throat> that candle is taking. Yeah, man, go ahead, brother. Hey, good morning. I see that every time you're looking for these kind of entries, just right now, as you were explaining, mm -hmm. you always wait for two five minute candles to close in your direction. Yes. Is that you waiting for the 15 minute close? Or not the 15 minutes. Or you sometimes want to it's see those yeah, sometimes it's aligned with the 15 minute candle close, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the first five minute is uh <clears throat> is the last five minute of the 15, and then the, the second uh five minute is the retest to the to the previous 15 minute candle high, and the okay. third one is when the reaction is happening and it's going the other way around. Yeah. Uh, but it could also it could also be the second five minute. It could also yes. break the low and just keep pushing, and you miss that entry, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you'd rather play it the safer way, and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. I see. I see. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because usually what you have is fifteen minute candle going bullish, right? Fifteen minute candle creates that high. Then in in the in the five minute candle and the five minute candles, you can have the last five minutes of the fifteen is doing something like this. So that 15 minute candle creates that body. Now the, the first five minute of the 15, it will tend to pull back to retest the 15 minute candle high and create the confirmation of resistance. So the easiest one will be when the 15 minute candle uh, the, is against the trend, like this one, for example, there's like uh, 10 more minutes for that 15. <clears throat> and then that the first five minutes, the last five minutes on the 15 is giving you that bearish close. Now, if the third candle with the with a, a, a third candle is giving you a retest again to that 15 minute candle and breaking the law of the confirmation, you know oh. that 15 minute candle most likely will engulf all this area right here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's say this is the this is the this is the second five minute candle for the for the 15. Now, what are the options here? If you have to be a cowboy looking for that specific entry, then you need to pay attention. Not that I like going to the five minutes here. <clears throat> but look for a specific, the same thing on the, on the five minute candles right there. One minute, you mean? Yeah, look for the one minute, yeah. Look for the one minute confirmation. But obviously the one minute is quite um, uh, dangerous uh, compared to the five minute. If you wait long enough for a five minute, sometimes you will miss the move. The price can drop, 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 and you miss the move, whatever. But uh, in, in, in most cases, uh, can be can be an easy one, can be an easy job looking for those specific moves, you know based on the one minute because the one minute when there's volume in the market one minute is a strong enough confirmation <clears throat> those are the moves that i'm telling you you know you can easily miss the move and you'd be surprised how many moves you miss because waiting of a five minute candle confirmation but it is what it is <clears throat> yeah. yeah yeah worst case scenario you can always enter the break of the low on the yeah basically uh same happened here like this candle right here is there is basically the resistance. This is just a retest to that candle right there. And the moment that candle is is breaking the low of this candle right here, you have a trade. But like I said, I mean, for the sake of simplicity, I don't like pulling the one minute, but it plays. It plays out uh, really nice the one minute. You know, it's just that for the one minute to play the way you want it, it you need more volume than, than on, on a random day. That's all. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Ibrahim entered. Okay. Yeah. So go for it. Uh, any more questions here? Yeah. So, uh, see. And you'd be surprised how retail traders fall for the trap. Oh, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying because I need a whole correction. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is not safe. At this point, whoever took that small, little, tiny trade right there, 30 pips maybe, uh, close some and have your stop loss, you know pretty tight in there because this is playing at the daily at the daily support if this is a valid support the low of this candle will be respected and the candle this candle already broke that high so i see so 
So now the way this five minutes closed because it closed such a such a huge candle, you would not enter on the break of the low. You'd rather wait for the break of the, the lowest low. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's a safer Impulsive. entry because mm -hmm. you could reject at any time. Okay. Hey man. Yeah. Hey Kerwin, how are you? Hey, how are you, Jose? This is Luis, bro. And oh, Luis. <laughs> don't worry, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm realizing that the one hour and 30 minutes is about to flip. Well, it's flipping now. <laughs> it's flipping. Uh, so nah. this could be a strong confirmation to, to continue the move. Yeah, this area right here, it's a heavy contention, the 07, 08. This is the same area of contention uh, uh, from, from basically from last night. Uh, that I told you guys, <clears throat> you know, look for, for something uh, from the uh, 10. Now, leaving the 7 can give you a, enough enough trades to the downside. But this area, if it's, if this hourly candle is, is not, you know, is not respecting its own low and breaking basically this, this low right here, the daily low, man, can be can be an easy one. 20 pips to the downside in no time. And even, even more, because at this point, the pullback is already done for the daily. So at this point, you're not looking for a crazy pullback again to the to the twenties, to the fifteen. Nothing, nothing crazy. Main structure here is this one right here, and this structure is giving you the fake out. <clears throat> but, um, but Kevin, can you? Uh, uh, is it possible that the daily week will be the previous daily week is uh, will be filled? Yeah, there's a huge chance. Yeah, yeah. At least, uh, not this one, but this one right here. To the 1800s yeah makes sense yeah <clears throat> that's your resistant now if this candle is breaking this low you guys already know what to do <clears throat> that, that high is coming from the 1810 the little lower time frames there yeah that's good enough that that pullback right there to the 10 was good <clears throat> main area here uh main area the 10 is basically this one right here hopefully prices make a, a quick drop and doesn't come back to the 10 here erwin are you in a position right now uh yeah i'm in two positions i'm in in, in a position here and i'm in a position up there uh 18 19 from this morning 18, awesome thanks yeah. yeah 1807 somewhere here one of these days, I I I wanna I wanna talk about uh, <clears throat> buy limits. Buy limits and limits, uh, basically uh, limit orders, <clears throat> because it's really important in gold, especially when gold tends to play from uh, from a specific areas. Uh, <clears throat> it's a must to have a buy limit, sell limits. It, it's good to understand how those 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 orders uh, work. <clears throat> the buy limits is is really important and, and sell limits as well because gold tend to respect the key levels really nice. This, uh, that push right here. And when you're using a, a, a certain uh, order by limit, whatever, <clears throat> you have, uh, you know, you, you're basically aiming for a full correction or maybe uh, aiming to catch, <clears throat> give me one second. You're aiming for a decent move. You know, I will say a, uh, usually a one to five in 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 move so basically usually the, the the buy limits the sell limits all those orders right here the way it works is that you have a strong level you know that you are in a bearish market what is the deepest the heaviest pullback ever you want to go to a slip and you know not paying attention the whole night to to what may happen but you don't want to miss the move if the move is happening overnight then you tend to have <clears throat> in this case like sell limit at the key level and using uh sometimes 15 pips in 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 a stop loss at the at the limit so in in this case right here you have to be really careful because you need to pay attention to the four hour candles as well where the four hour candles are reactions are happening if it's happening at a at a certain area then you have to use the four hour candles rejections as the as the sell limits instead of using a key level and then using 20 pips outside the previous four hour candle rejections <clears throat> it's kind of looking for like a sniper entries it's not a sniper because I don't like that term. Uh, you know, talking about sniper is like saying, oh, I'm the best at it. No, it's not the case. But being clever, being smart enough to, to, to look for those positions. Usually what I do is if I have a strong key level like the 1820, I will have like a, 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 a sell limit 
1819.50 and having a stop loss at 1821.50, <clears throat> risking 20 pips in that position, but I'm looking for a bigger risk reward. Uh, doesn't work every day. It doesn't work all the time. You need to be, you know, on point with the analysis. You have to be on point. You see the analysis from the daily outlooks, they play out almost to perfection. But there's some cases that price doesn't give me those specific moves and it tends to fake me out in, in, in some cases. So it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's annoying, to be honest, it's annoying being stopped out uh, in the middle of the night. And when you wake up, instead of being in profits, you wake up to, to losses. <clears throat> but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's market behavior. You, you, you cannot win it uh, all the time, uh, but it, it works. It works. A lot of times it works. Yeah, that happened to me last night, Kerwin. Not on gold. It was another mm. pair. I was trading just something I saw in the corner of my eye. I got down. I got down. I got up pretty good, but I was being greedy, targeting some big number. And the market, I mean, literally to the pit, came back and took me out. Oh, <laughs> man. <Nice. laughs> but it was it was more of a play. I was I was playing around with Aussie dollar short. Mm -hmm. And it literally came back to 7035 figure. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's exactly where my stock. I should have had a, I had a trailing stop because I was up pretty big. Um, but I was just trying to see if I, I was going for that 68 handle. Yeah. Uh, market said, no, I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not giving that a straight continuation now. Yeah. I think 1807 is a pretty strong level. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to close this position. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's about to stop me out. <clears throat> My entry was literally right there. Uh, my entry was literally in this area. It's about to stop me out. And my stop loss is here. Ah, shame. I don't like this. In situations like those, do you hold your trade, Karen? Or do you allow it to touch your stop loss? Or like, wouldn't you I mean, manage risk closing <laughs> half or something? Like, in this case, for example, that's, that's my entry. Literally, that's my entry. Yeah. I'm still holding because I know that the stop loss makes makes complete sense for me to hold that position so you want to see one minute closing <laughs> yeah oh, so I, 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 I want to see what's going to happen with this one minute if this one minute start breaking this high it's going to stop me out most likely yeah i i all i want to see is this one minute retracing from there closing below again the the 1810 basically and giving me that ah that's a fishy close yeah so maybe close half or something i don't uh, know no no if i close half then that means that i don't trust the set the the trade that i took and mm. If I have, yeah, if I have to close half, will be breaking this area. But the, considering the main stop loss that I have here is quite small because this stop loss is not even, uh, yeah, not even 15 pips in a stop loss. Uh, yeah, you see, my stop losses are usually bigger than 15 pips. I try to not put bigger stop losses than that. Yeah. So, my, so you yeah. know, me taking a 15 pip loss, it's mm -hmm. it's usually what I close my positions with. So, like, that's a full trade that I'd be, yeah. you know stepping backwards yeah. so my, i try to be more conservative in that yeah. in that aspect yeah my yeah. stop loss is uh 1203 1203 yeah i was at 1215 so yeah <laughs> that one right there this is my stop loss i see now if this if this if this candle right here is not respecting the previous little tiny rejections and not giving me the close below that 10 I cannot think this is was this was just a plain and simple pullback, and this thing can easily reject the daily lows and continue moving, moving, moving up. Something that I won't be able to do is <clears throat> uh, closing my position early when I know that this is basically just a plain, maybe just a plain and simple pullback. How can I see if it's not a, a plain and simple pullback if this candle, instead of closing after the bullish close above the key level, is not giving me a rejection from previous rejection areas? I need to close my position. If I see prices smelling bullish outside this area, I have to close my position because it's not fun being in, in seven, eight pips more in drag down in, in this specific area. That's the thing. Yeah, and, and by holding you... it, you didn't get, you didn't close the trade and you're still in profit right now. Yeah, yeah. If I, I had to close my position here, now I'll be thinking, oh, I'm going to add another position here at the low, at the worst yeah, price ever. At the worst because price I'm ever. Selling, yeah, because I'm That's selling the I daily do. low. And those things are the things that you have as a trader, you need to pay attention to those things. When you plan a trade, you know the outcome. You know how much money you're putting on the table and you know the outcome. You have my entry is here. My stop loss has to be in this area right here. Now, 
what are the options? Going back to retest the daily low. And if it's giving me a rejection and breaking my, my, my confirmation candle, then I have to call it a day. Or maybe I have to close my position. At this point, this candle right here is near to the five minute candle close. And that five minute candle already created that liquidity. This five minute candle needs to break this previous candle. That one right there. And there you go. Welcome to Profitland. Secure some if you can. I mean, whoever trade uh, that position. <coughs> um, but uh, yeah, let me secure some in here. And I'm going to let the rest run. Yeah. And now my stop loss will be this one right here. And if I get stopped out, I don't care. I don't care what happened here because I already secured my position. <clears throat> I'm going to let it breathe. It has to go somewhere. That liquidity from the five minute candle, if the volume is okay, that liquidity has to go somewhere. Look at that fishy close right there. What a fishy close. That candle right there, see the body. Let me let me remove this thing right here a little bit uh, to this area. <clears throat> Look at that fishy close. Let me grab a tiny little line over here. That candle right there is fishy. I that will is confirmation to... or is it not? It is. Yeah, it's a confirmation. It's a okay. confirmation, but it's a little tiny confirmation here. Uh -huh. It will be a confirmation only if this candle already did the pullback and now this high needs to be respected. If that candle is breaking the high, I'll be closing, I'll be closing my, my position most likely. <clears throat> because yeah. that candle can give can give me another complete reversal to the 10 again. Yeah, yeah we, we, ha we have we have some news coming up. It's not high impact. Yeah. We're getting some news, so yeah. I mean that might be the push we get to get past eighteen oh seven. But yeah, on my charts eighteen oh seven is a pretty strong level. Yeah, <clears throat> I I close another fifty percent on this specific trade. <clears throat> I'm gonna let the trade run. That's a rejection. I didn't want to. I didn't want to hold anymore. That yeah. one right there. <clears throat> That's why you have to be really picky. This confirmation is a confirmation because it's coming from a liquidity, but it's closing fishy. It's near. If that body instead of closing like that, that body is closing uh, like this. Hell yeah. Why? Because the fifty percent on that specific end, talking the ten, the 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 ten. And this candle roughly the, is, is almost 30 pips. Max pullback at the opening will be this one right here, this area, and therefore a, a plain and simple continuation. But trading at the daily low, eh, it's a hell of a risky trade to hold. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, could, it could slightly break it and still reject it. <laughs> yeah. Which is what happened. It's about so to in stop situations like those, you want to see the candle closing and then breaking that low. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. It's about I to see. stop me out. It's Tú tenías razón. Look at. Yo, good morning, guys. Morning, Tomer. How's New York, brother? Are you back in Texas? No, no, I'm back home. I'm back oh, home. Nice, Let me nice. put my camera. Nice. Wow. Wait, Tomer, you were in my city and you didn't reach out? Yeah, I that's true. That's true. <laughs> I didn't know you were in New York, man. Well, I'm taking that personally, Tom. You should. <laughs> you should. And I should be ashamed. <laughs> you must. Uh... Wow. I had so much fun. Cool. Yeah. Man, look at the one minute close. This is a beautiful session. <laughs> I, I don't even like looking at the one minute, man. It's just, you know, no, my, yeah. bl my blood pressure can't take that, man. No, exactly. Man. <laughs> it's so much, it's yeah. so much pressure. There, there, there's no point. <laughs> no. So much pressure, man. Give me the one hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bought off that one minute close when it closes a bearish candle. Uh -huh. It's too heavy. Too obvious, yeah. man. Yeah. Let's see. I want to see if it's going to test 1812. Is that bug? It can easily test that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mm, yeah, man. I left a week ago. We were with 100. <laughs> so that means that we can be uh, 100 next week. <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> Easy work. Uh, this is a monster, monster pullback. Monster. The only reason, the only reason I'm still holding this is because of the, the rejection, this rejection right here. <clears throat> this rejection is telling me a lot of things. <clears throat> and this fake out, basically, this fake yeah. out is telling me a lot of even, things. Even that fake out resisted the previous range there, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So now, mm, yeah. So usually what you, you want to see uh, overall in the session, right, is that every rejection is happening slightly lower. If this rejection is like for Dennis, that is is is, is holding that buy. If this is the, if his spies uh, start breaking this thing, there's no doubt that we may see overall a push toward this area to the 13. He's looking for the 12. I will say the 13.50 most likely, but obviously it oh. needs it needs to leave these previous areas of rejection because the rejections are happening every time the price is trying to. to take a breather it's happening slightly lower 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 so that's yeah. that's all that's what you need for example this five minute candle in perfect in, in perfect case scenario the new 30 minute it's about to start this is the last five minute for the 30 what happened if this five minute candle did those a retest to this five or maybe to these rejections right here and start breaking this low a new 30 minute candle will take a blast to the downside because that's the closing for the four hour and if you pay attention to the four hour candle here <clears throat> that four hour has potential going to the uh, uh, 1805 that's all but if if that doesn't happen instead of giving you a strong break in the last five minutes uh, at the at the 30 minute this 30 minute candle can create two things support and can create a range it's trading at the daily low that's why i won't be surprised if this daily low hold a little bit longer and we start ranging inside this area, the 13 and the seven, you know, like a, uh, like a 15, 16, uh, 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 50, 60 pips uh, range in this area right here. <clears throat> yeah, that candle is about to stop me out. This, yeah, this is this, the highest for this, this one minute candle plot. Yeah, there, you, there go. you go, there you go, yeah. Tal vez tú tenías razón. No, the cells are still going to come through, though, because it may happen. It may oh. happen. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully the four-hour candle, the last thirty minutes for the four-hour, gives you that break. Give us that break, because I'm still holding that position from the upper side, uh, and that's the one that I will I will love to see. You know, at 18, uh, 1800 with that. But I'm not looking for buys. Even though if this candle breaks wow. this high and goes to stop me out, I'm not looking for buys. I was looking for a quick push with the one minute. Because mm -hmm. um, so, when the one minute resistance formed just a bit lower than the previous one, but it, it closed as like a big body. I was like, I've seen it happen a lot. So mm -hmm. I knew the next candle was would have normally push up. Yeah. But it pushed up and then the other one came as bearish. So at that point, I was like, ah, nah, yeah. it's not, it's not clean, good push. Sometimes we get good pullbacks where it's just like instantly 30 pips. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Um, Hi, Dennis. What is your uh, YouTube site again? Uh, Gold Trader. I'll add it in the chat. Cheers, mate. Uh, it's gonna be a long wait. New oh, minutes. Kevin, about that setup the, that you told us about the homework. Uh, is is it like do do we need to put like certain conditions on that setup, like timing or sessions or anything like that, or just pure, pure uh, price action? Price action, price action, for example. <clears throat> what well, we got a minute left on 30 it's soon hopefully i don't miss him <laughs> to the downside oh oh if you if you don't want to if you want to follow the move just 
No, it's okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm not holding anything. So. I'm not in a hurry. <clears throat> Okay. I'm gonna fall down the stairs here now. Okay. Watch. Okay. Let me <laughs> my things then. <laughs> uh, 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 Main daily low is this one. Main is this, is this one. <clears throat> All right. 30 minute and look close, beautiful, bullish. Doesn't mean bias, but it means support has been established. Ay, ay, ay. Five minute candle give you support, confirmation of support. If this specific rejection wasn't here, I'll try to, you know, to, to look for some form of correction. Uh, but today is not the days that I'll be looking for buys, not even counter trending for 20, for 30 pips uh, buys, <clears throat> because um, that rejection from the 20 is, is, is too too strong for me, for lo uh, looking for, for buys. Like I said, I, it may happen that we go back to the 20s, but um, no. Kevin, what's the deepest pullback you're looking for? <clears throat> the heaviest pullback? Mm -hmm. Um, this one right here, this area. Right Say eighteen, eighteen, fourteen. What do I got? Yeah, eighteen, fourteen, thirty-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. that area as well. This is the previous area of support. This is the max, max pullback here. If the continuation is to the downside, also if the continuation is to the downside, <clears throat> the main, uh, the main range in here, the magical box in here, is uh, currently is this one right here this 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 magical box right there this is your fake up now price taking a breather and then price closing back in this range means that this area is coming is slightly the, the rejection is slightly lower than the previous one right there and this one right here but price needs to respect this area gives you the close so therefore this will be the highest for that specific session but what if <clears throat> due to the closing on that five on the on the 30 minute candle is is giving you a, a full reverse all the way to the to the 15 is not it's not fun you know and what makes sense is sales all the way down to the 1800s but if we don't have confirmations and we see all the confirmations are happening at the at the daily low then we need to adjust our our, our trading plan for the rest of the day and we know that this area can be a hard area to to have sales for the rest of the session <clears throat> Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. And I don't look. I, I don't. I. I don't. I don't really like looking for buys, even though I know they can play out outside this rejection right here really easy to the to the 14, like 30, 20 pips at least. Uh, but I'm not looking for that specific move because I want to stay, you know, in, in, in this specific range, below this specific range. I want to continue looking for salt, but can they can play out, especially because this is a strong support. <clears throat> that 30 minute candle give you a strong confirmation of support. <clears throat> But I know cowboys like cowboys like Dennis can can try. <clears throat> Last one minute. Eric, I'm pretty sure he's using the four hours, the London four hour. Kevin, they're asking about the green box. Oh, the green box. Uh, what about the? Give me one sec. Uh, how, how do you draw it? Uh, like oh, from, usually, based on usually, uh, you know, it's it's based on the support and based on the resistance, uh, and not, do not include the fake out. 
in this case, this was basically finance and Pufeca. If you go to the lower time range, you may see it kind of clear. Like if this is like, for example, this was a fake of why price is going back to retest these areas because most likely will break that high <clears throat> and continue going up. Now, remember what happened yesterday. Ye yesterday we had a different case scenario, but basically, uh, you know, something similar like price trading inside the box, then taking a breather, but respecting the high and then closing back in the box again. That will be the signal to look for sales again. You know, if the lower time zones are closing back below this area right here. But usually what you do on the 50 minutes, if it's, it's in session, look for the 15. If it's a New York session, look for the five minute candles, look for a structure like support and resistance and draw, grab your, your box from the resistance to support. Do not include the, what you may consider that is a fake out. And train train your, your eyes for those specific things. Look, that candle right there with this liquidity, man has, enough information to continue pumping, pumping, pumping all the way up to the 15 is if, if, if she wants. But now, depending on how the high of this candle is behaving, if this high, if the high of this candle is, is, is not being respected, there's a huge chance for price to correct the whole move up. You know, the only contention area is because of this specific area right here. Across the board, these are the previous rejections. And, and trying to counter trend something that was looking heavy bearish, is not a good idea, but I know that it can play out if this high is not being respected. <clears throat> so yeah, but usually the 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 the, the magic box, whatever the the range box is 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 that is a range box. Tal vez tú tenías razón. Yeah. Es conso. Es conso. You're rejecting that daily low. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kerwin, the fact that we didn't take out that 1808 is reject, and I think that's what you were just about to say, right? Mm -hmm. It feels like we're headed for a session slightly higher. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the. The push now makes complete sense to these areas, this area, basically this one and this area right here. It's just that the, for, for, for my, for my trading, I don't, I don't like going for 20, uh, 15 pips against the trend. If I had to go 15 pips, 20 pips in favor of the trend. Yeah. But oh, I sometimes I, yeah. I miss the moves because they happen, you know, with confirmation. This candle right here is my support. The 30 minute candle is enough confirmation. Uh, support has been established at a daily low. And you'd be surprised if price doesn't respect this uh, 15 and close inside this area and start ranging, ranging for the rest of the session. Right. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I, 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 have to, I have to live with it. <laughs> you know yeah. that I miss moves and it's okay. But this candle right here is your support, confirmation support. Uh, a rejection, a, a pullback, and the moment that high is not being respected, is going for more. But those are the things that you have to consider on a daily basis. If it's worth it for you, uh, you can you can take those those entries. If not, then just just let let it, let them go. Yeah, th th this is one of those entries where I need like unfortunately I hate to say it, but I need one minute structure to at least mm -hmm. take it up. And mm -hmm. there's not there's not even anything there for me. Yeah. So I can't and, do anything with it yet. Yeah. yeah. And the and the and reason why is giving is is doing that is because this is a daily support. Correct. Yeah. If this is not a daily support and your daily support is in here, don't do it. That's the thing. You know, don't do it. Don't counter trend because that's only pulling back before the continuation to the daily support. Yeah. Let me close my position from the upside. I don't like this thing. This thing is pulling. It's pushing too hard. Yeah, I you were in from earlier. Your first position. Yeah, I, I was in in this area, uh, nineteen point uh, seventy. I think it was. I have to pull up the information here. Still <clears> ten <throat> Yeah, uh, eighteen nineteen point oh seven. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good look. Mm -hmm. Eighteen nineteen. Uh, Oh, seven. That one right there. Yeah. 
I, 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 did, I did close that position because I know that due to the daily low right here in this candle closing above this area can give me a, a full reverse. I won't be risking all these 60 pips in here just for, just for fun. <clears throat> Now, Dennis, you, you took that position again or not? Yeah, I took it, but my head's not, my head's not really, I'm not focused today. So oh, then. still down like 10 pips. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. But yeah, the runner that I've got, well, I've closed most of the position, but the runner's like, like 20, four pips, 20, something oh. like that. Wow. Yeah, because I entered again the first position, I closed it up. Mm. No one, I'm not focused on the charts. It's just, mm. oh, yeah, yeah ten pips down. But, yeah. Now will be a long wait before I plan another trade. Ah, oh, shame. <clears throat> oh, by the way, um, uh, let me pull up the YouTube. Uh, I mean, if if anybody is in trades, uh, feel free to reach out. Oh. Page, <laughs> Mrs. Miller, Miss Miller is always on point. Um, I'm, uh, I'm working on this. Uh, where am I? How do I pull up my videos? I'm old school, so I'm, I don't know. I don't know how this thing works. Uh, this channel has no videos. What happened with the video that I I sent yesterday? Because I uploaded a video yesterday. Oh, this one right here. Hey, <laughs> this is uh this i'm planning to upload the the daily streamings yeah yeah the daily streamings um because uh vimeo is freaking expensive man and daily here's the thing how many we are almost 172 drop in the chat if you guys find uh value for me, uploading those videos to the to any folder like the daily daily streamings. Are you really guys? Uh, are you guys watching those videos? Really? Because if not, I, I don't need to. Sometimes. Be I've, I've, yeah, I've oh, I are you see. watching them? So I see, yeah. I see, I see. I uh, think it depends on a bad day. You go back and you yeah. see how yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes you might miss something. You might you might just walk away. Just come back, just watch uh -huh. it later. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chat is going nuts. It's going bananas. So yeah, okay. I'm well. Uh, so yeah. So what I'm considering is opening. Uh, I I already opened the the channel. Um. Uh, now you know posting the daily streamings here instead of posting all the daily daily streamings on Vimeo because freaking Vimeo buying space in Vimeo is pretty expensive. And these guys, they don't charge you monthly. They charge you at, at once, uh, yearly. So it's it's insane. It's insane. What, Kerwin, why don't you just keep, like, the most recent week on Vimeo and then do the other stuff, like, move the other things over? Uh, the the weekly outlooks, you said? Yeah, or, or no, like, if you're going to do the dailies, right? Why uh -huh. you, because Vimeo takes it upload real fast, right? You yeah, don't, yeah. Only keep, like, maybe the most recent three or four so that way, anybody that wants to see it that night can see it. But those that are like a week old can go to wherever you, if, you know, whether it be G, G Drive or anywhere you want to put them. Um, oh, Just, makes sense. Makes sense. Like if they don't, like one week don't lag. make it in the first week. <laughs> yeah, like one week lag. You leave like one week on Vimeo, if that's the case, yeah. or studio, wherever you want to do it, that's easy. Uh -huh. And then wherever you have more space that's cheap, then you can take the, you know, those that were, you know, old, older, let's say like a week lag and put them wherever uh, space is cheap. Mm -hmm. And then we, you can have a diplomat in the group that will do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I you could know. probably write a script to uh, to to do that for you. Yeah, somebody sitting on cash. You got everything else. Uh, what are you gonna do? Well, no, you better not be sitting in cash. <laughs> yeah. But every away, investor is, is bro. Counter, right? No, I mean, well, they're parking it in probably tips and things like that. You remember? Uh... Uh, honestly, if you're if you have it sitting there, you're losing eight percent of your. Mm-hmm. So you got what, bonds, you got treasury, uh -huh. uh -oh. I mean, you got tips. I mean, uh oh, is that me? <laughs> I mean, in the U.S., that it is. Oh, I, yeah, sound, I really game. sound like that. That's that's scary. Scary. What do you mean with tips, bro? Uh, what was that, Gary? I said I really sound like that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. How you know? Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, guys, folks. <laughs> well, we can have. A, we probably have to have a deeper discussion. <laughs> Something like this. I'm gonna have to run into a meeting before a fa before power speed. But yeah, it's definitely <laughs> <laughs> something like this. No, Kermit. I think we should do that. Just general, um, high level. Yeah. So you know, okay. Like, so I will work on that. I'll work on, on that. That's, that's a good idea then. Uh, so I'll, I'll be posting. Uh, I'll be posting the the daily streamings here, and I'll be posting. Uh, you know the all the other videos, the 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 main videos in in Vimeo, they will stay there. Uh, like the 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 gold uh, webinars, basically. Uh, Karen. Yep. Actually, I found out that the processing problem, like, is because of the screen ratio. Maybe when you upload the video by 16 by 9, right? You actually uh -huh. can process faster compared to right now the video resolution that you have. Oh, yeah? So this, just now I was trying to upload a few videos, right? It actually is finished processing like in six hours. Yeah. But yeah. the video that for at your resolution or your ratio, right? You actually still keep processing right now. Oh, okay, okay. And it, uh, from previous, previous group, right? You're actually using the 16 by 9 ratio too. That's why we have the video processing quite fast compared to the normal video without any uh, processing the ratio. Okay. Okay. That's when you have a so low, lowering the lowering the 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 quality is is, is uh, no no it's not about the quality it's about the the screen ratio. Mm -hmm. So you have to go for like the sixteen by nine ratio. So it will actually upload faster. From what I researched, but I'm not really sure yet. I'm still trying right now. Okay, let me. Uh... You okay. can check on the on the link yeah, that I uh... before. You can see from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I think I think YouTube takes long to process videos as well, to be honest. <clears throat> but and, and that uh... that's the reason why I really love Vimeo because Vimeo, you uh, I upload a a two hour long video and it takes mm -hmm. literally like 10, 15 minutes and the video is ready. Also, yeah. the, you know, the, the, the speed and the internet that I have is one gig. So it, yeah. it's, it's crazy fast. Yeah, I don't know. Man. But uh, Google Drive, man, Google Drive was taking freaking uh, three days. Uh, if about, you want, let me try it for a week. You. Okay. I'm like, Raja. Uh, here's the thing I've never. I never thought about having a group and doing teachings and doing this uh, on my own, right? So I don't know how all these different platforms works. For me, Google Drive was the easiest one. I'm old school. Uh, and, you know, I know that Vimeo, uh, somebody uh, recommended Vimeo because of the, you know, the, the speed on the processing for the videos. Uh, and then somebody uh, told me as well about the YouTube private streaming, uh, YouTube private channel. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of platforms and, and some of them, I, I, I literally, I don't know how they work. I'm, I'm, I'm like a dinosaur. I, I don't know much about tech. I know about maybe about trading 20% about trading and other than that, I don't know anything. Uh, hey, good morning, Kobe. Oh, there's my assistant right on time, Peter. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> How are you doing, bro? Good, brother. Here, trying to yeah. look for something in the market. What do you think? You took sales or do I buy, take buy, from, buy from here, bro? Like your point of view. Oh. <laughs> buy from 
Yeah, because I know, because you know, if if for example, uh, if it's falling, falling from London, mm -hmm. we need the pull back before the sell, right? Mm -hmm. So this area we are looking for the sell. It's like if you see on the eighteen hundred, the five minute candle closed mm -hmm. the previously is it quick whenever it like quick quick down and close <laughs> like a you know bullish or rejection, we get the pullback. Mm -hmm. Mm, sounds Take fishy out. for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing there was, hey, Kevin, first of all, like, uh -huh. uh, I, I think Comics Open was there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, you know. Yeah. How are you doing, bro? You caught some or? No, man, nothing yet. Tell me. Oh, I saw Asian. You, you smashed buy. Asian. I think, I think you took buy here. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> you took this, bro. Three, three, <laughs> three five minute candles, <laughs> no. closing bull. We know you, bro. We know you. Yeah, we, we, hey, we all, we all gotta be honest bro, here, man. Bro, bro, Kevin, Kevin, <laughs> like, I know. Total... If you are out of the stream, you would take from here. In the stream, you took here because of this. conservative. He's yeah, a, he's yeah. a, he's a, he's a, he looks good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, because that's that one is a no, was a no brainer, bro. Like three, five minutes closing bullish. Yeah. Uh, no, was... I agree. I agree. And I did, I did close. No, I did, I, I didn't took the buys. I did close the position that I was holding from here. I did close oh, okay. my position when price was moving in this area. Uh, because having the support, confirmation support, this candle did a beautiful pullback. Then is, I think it was uh, uh, buys already. And I said, you know, when before this candle happened, uh, the first minutes, two <clears throat> minutes, this candle started uh -huh. pulling back first. Uh, bing, bang, and this one, boom. This is the candle you want to look for buys. Breaking the high of the five minute candle in this specific area. Yeah, say, that was my entry. Most. You say must, uh, but I didn't want to take that in consideration because I had uh, I had sales uh, from from this specific oh. area. Then I had more sales from this specific area. I think it was. Kevin, this is beautiful pullback to the candle body. I mean, this is beautiful comfort. Yeah, that's beautiful. And the flip, and the, fl yes. and the flip, yeah. is no brainer. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That that was that was good. That's why. And the only the only contention area that I have was this one right here, and this candle right here as well from previous uh, from previous uh, information here. And the moment this candle is taking that breather, is making it so easy to grab. And this candle was like thirty pips in volume. Crazy. But you took it, right? Or you didn't no, say didn't. it in stream? No, 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 but... I didn't. Oh, okay. I did not. I did How not. come? How come? No, I mean Maybe... I'm not trying to counter trend today for for you know for the sake of uh, of, of the simplicity in my in my trading today I'm looking for buy uh, for sales only. Um, but, they sell but this is here. your this yes. is cake setup for you. I know. No, no, no. I know, and I said it. I I, I said yeah. it. You know that this candle breaking the high is going for the uh, 1350. Basically, this is the next area, and this yeah. one as well. This is the previous area of support. So why not going toward this area right here? But I didn't want to consider that entry. All I did was sit on my hands and, and see how price was, was moving. Now this is my this is the pullback here. Now this candle can easily be countered as a as a bearish candle with the rejection, right? And this is your confirmation. If this candle is doing a pullback, this candle's two minutes away from closing. We based on the on the four hour candle here, that four hour candle can easily close the way it is or a little bit lower. In the next one, mm -hmm. we'll try to range between this area overall and obviously, uh, let me grab this one right here. Rangy candle coming today. Yeah, rangy. Reason why is because we had a preview range in this area right here. Because you took like 4,000 pips yesterday, so you want today. <laughs> <laughs> nah, last night I, I had to. I had to with the 15 minute candle closing last night, was too easy. Too easy. I had the contention area here, uh, and this specific area was my contention area. And this candle resistant, this candle not breaking the law, but this candle going retesting completely. And this candle breaking that law is a must, at least to retest this specific area. And at that point, was a, a like a one to three risk reward. So it was worth it for me. It was hell of a work, a, a hell of a, a reward for me. Yeah. See that five minute candle right there. If this five minute candle was happening at the maybe 35, maybe at the 40, at the 880, 840, I'll be taking that sell. 
no matter what, using a stop loss on top of this candle, basically, because I know that the last 30 minutes before the, the four hour candle close is a must to give you that continuation to the downside. And you'll be surprised how price behave uh, at those specific levels. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, okay. They had something to do, he said. <laughs> no, I was about to mute in, in Dennis Turkish. because I don't want to see. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear something weird. <laughs> yeah, it's in Turkish, bro. It's good, bro. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was tricky, bro, today. Mm -hmm. I was also looking for sales, mm -hmm. but uh, it didn't make sense for me at all to sell that bottom, bro. Um, uh, I me, waited for that pullback. Yeah, to me, sales is what makes sense. I mean, all I want to see is 1800 for today. Now, mm -hmm. this candle happened, you know, at, at a fishy time. And this candle right here didn't give me that beautiful close I, I would love to have. Like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, having a, a bigger body in here. So. That candle was extremely fishy, bro. Because mm -hmm. it broke the low, but that wick was like too small and body didn't close That's... below that wick. Yeah. That was fishy. Before that four hour candle close it's not it's not worth it uh i'll say 80 percent of the times this setup at the hourly at the four hour hourly candle 30 minute candle opening is not is not the safest way to take that if this setup is happening like i said before like 40 45 even the 50 uh i will i'll consider that position and this is the pullback mm -hmm. resistant confirmation resistant pullback the moment that candle is not respecting its own low it's going for more but the new four hour candle opening makes it quite fishy for that move to happen so easily to give me a, a good re risk reward yeah this is nothing yet bro just 18 yeah. pips from yeah. that five minute break mm -hmm. i was considering that but since i had that uh, those buys i didn't want to jump from buys to sells immediately you know basically uh, why i didn't want to jump from sales to buys and in, in the previous setup in here yeah <laughs> because it's i'm good, not good for the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's not it's good for the psychology have, yeah and and it, here is the thing um i had i can counter trend i can do a lot of things in in, in trading right and I, I, I know what to look at specifically in a, in a certain candle. If that candle is not giving me that confirmation, it's not giving me that specific move, I'll be closing my position. But I do know there's a lot of people here that are, they are new to trading gold. And I don't yeah. want, you know, to, to have that kind of different approach from them. Like, oh, but why he was looking for sales and now he's looking for buys. And now why he's looking for sales again if he was looking for buys. You can be kind of hyper scalper in the market but you need to know what to do uh, in, in, in certain conditions. Like, for example, that, that trade right there. Like I said, if this was a, a, any other timing, then the timing must be perfect for me to consider that entry. But this time, at this, at this time of the hourly candle and four-hour candle, is not worth it for me. Look, if this was plain and simple price action, right? It's okay for that candle to close, let's say, bullish. What will happen any other at any other timing here is that the next candle will try to retest that candle, and the moment that support is not being respected, the candle can easily give you something like this. Breaking that low can give you a pullback and giving you something like this. Now the timing is not the optimal time for me to take that trade. If if it wasn't any other uh, any other time, yeah, I will consider that trade because I'm still marrying the idea that this is the pullback, and I can easily look for continuation. You know. But, you know, I was talking garbage. I missed this specific candle right here. If not, I'll be considering sales from here. And I do think that some of you guys took those sales because some of you already had that understanding in the market. And that's good. Yes. Yeah. But for me, sales is what, is what makes sense to me. I'll take you some. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, <laughs> oh, I thought you were done, Sultan. You said to me you were done, bro. What happened? <laughs> Sultan, you weren't buying. If I, if, now if you're I, in sales? No. Yeah, if I don't take this trade, COVID will curse me. Oh, uh, now it's because of my fault, because I'm going to say something to you. You're, you're oh, over risking, you're changing your bias because I'm the one. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the main contention is this one right here. Like, yeah, no, I need this pullback. That's why. I'm not looking any more 10 pips, 12 pips. I'm looking $50, bro. That's why I need pullbacks first. $5, oh. bro, not 50 Oh. 
<laughs> but but uh, but Sultan, bro, why didn't you wait for the four hourly to close, bro? Last minute, bro. Volume can kick. But <laughs> uh, the four hourly, bro, or the how hourly? Oh, the one, oh I one see hourly. The huh? hourly. Wait for huh? that hourly to close, bro. That four hourly. Man, huh? in total honesty, it's huh? really hard to talk uh, huh? to. To talk in English, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you wasn't <laughs> born with the English, for uh, me there's words that is freaking crazy for me to pronounce. It's, tell, it's... tell me about it. <laughs> uh, bro, French is even uh, worse than that, bro. For French is uh, pain French in the is ass, the worst. Bro. French is the worst. You think? Yeah, so? French is mm -hmm. a pain in the ass, bro. Yeah. But like, you... I had French in school. Uh -huh. Bro, first years was really hard for me. I I, I learned French when I uh, listened to French music and I translated that, you know. And then I, uh, what do you call it, that uh, thing? Uh, yeah, I basically knew the lyrics and I learned it from there, you know. But Four it's hour. uh, tough, Four bro. Four hour candle. Ay, la saña, la mati, mamá, la saña. Bro, this is a shitty ass candle closing. Yeah, man. It's... Yeah, it's not good at all. No, man, it's not. I had a feeling it's gonna be like this. So. Yeah. I think we are lucky we got there early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I mean, Kevin got lucky as well, bro. He smashes Asian on a daily basis, you know. No, no, only when I have time. Sometimes I'm with my family, you know, having having fun, whatever out of home. So I miss the moves. Sometimes I'm I'm driving and I see the moves. They're so easy and simple. I go for it. You know, Kevin uh, have entry Asian open. Then he close whole two thousand pips. Then he wake up every day. He does that. <laughs> But bro, bro, Kevin. Mm -hmm. The thing was today, I think the problem for us, uh, I mean, for me, I, I missed London, bro, but I chased that one. Yeah. You shouldn't chase NY, bro, I if bet, you miss I London. Bet. I bet. Man. Oh, no, man. Insane, insane. Oh. Where is Travis Scott? Is... <laughs> oh, I'm right here, man. I'm in, I'm in cells at 18.13.5, but I'm probably going to close here. We'll see what happens. I put yeah. my stops right at like 18. 18 yeah. so the moment you said it, it's rejected, bro. Yeah. Do you, no. you sell I, at 18, 13? I should just close my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know the one. Oh, who man. Need to... What's going on here, boys? No, I want that retest, bro, so I can enter. Yeah. It's good. No, it, yeah. It's you healthy. Know the right? one who we need to, to talk now, it's um, uh, Paige. When she Paige? talks, goals start moving. So yeah. Paige, Paige is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paige? Yesterday oh, yeah. he was I'm saying here, something at the moment he started talking. Can we, can we get Paige talking? to the stage, please? Paige to the stage. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Paige, <laughs> Paige is that the WWE girl? Me. <laughs> 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 uh, no, but for real. No, Paige is doing amazing work. Yeah, I saw her yeah. story. I saw her story. She got like, the same she, trade yesterday, bro. She's she, fire, bro. She, yeah. Like, yeah. You know, God yeah, it's so like been yeah way better the past couple of weeks so way more consistent it's been good you're also part of the one minute gang page <laughs> i used to i try not to look at it too much because i over trade like a beast if i watch it so um yeah trying to mostly stick to the five minute but if i'm looking for like five finer tune entries i'll go down i think page, the win rate should, on the one minute do... is a... <laughs> oh no i think page you should help with that one girl she's my friend i think ariana She's doing a bit, you know. If you help, she she can understand easily than the way. Yeah, and and her. to be honest, not because the, uh, you know, not because I I I I have seen this the trade that Paige uh, takes. Uh, but uh, I I do know that women they're more disciplined than men's to trade. I don't know. In this case, may I may be wrong because Paige can take uh, ten trades in in one hour. But uh, in, in in total honesty, I have uh, female traders. They're they they're doing amazing amazing work. Uh, can they, we will all, we will. We they, they, I think they have they, they are kind of smarter than than men's. Yeah yeah. Totally honestly, women are <laughs> but way not beyond. smarter than we we don't think we we have two eyes and we don't see anything. They have two eyes and they can see everything. Uh, in, uh, New York, the New York chapter. I find um, like um because my partner trades as well. It's like totally so, different styles. Like uh, I like my, uh, slowly accumulate well. and I'm good with that. Um, and then I'm, we I don't over this ever. But... And excited about our session that we're going to kick off. To
Somebody's giving signals again. No, that's Guy. Guy is watching. Ah, okay. No, He's watching Guy Bloomberg is... or something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like this Abdala guy, bro. He like, oh, ten pips, ten pips, ten pips. So, so yeah. we got, uh, so we got woman goat here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Main, uh, main range in here. That's a retest, bro. Like, bro, I, I won't be surprised if that daily closed the way it is. Like, price is not going anywhere from here. Just range. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless, unless the 10 a.m. candle, right? If the 10 a.m. candle can give us a, a breather outside this area or below this area, it can be a massive one. I want to see a fake out on the five minutes in this area, bro. Yeah, I don't like um, I have 15 minutes on my chart. And I don't like how this 15 minute candles are printing here. That's why that range doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it's rail railroading. Yeah. Somebody closed their, their position, bro, when you, once you said that. They got no, scared, bro. That's oh. mini. mini <laughs> looking for buys. Nah, bro. Mini is looking give for it, sales. Give him two minutes. he would be in three pips in profits and he would be like, oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but but he's risking chocolate, bro. Like biscuit, like small <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> like he always says. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. 30 minutes is messy. Messy. Oh, messy. bro, it's Gucci. No, I don't like it. <laughs> Gucci. This, this four hours, man, they, the four hour candles needs, it needs to leave this specific area. Yeah, if it, if it if it breaks eighteen oh seven to the downside, it's gonna like yes. fall downstairs. But I mean, easily eighteen oh seven strong. Easily eighteen hundreds, to be honest. Yeah, we need to start leaving that eighteen oh seven. Man, I don't know if that's gonna happen today though. No, nah, it's, it's, it's just fishy. yeah, it's yeah. up and down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Travis, why you change your name to French? <laughs> hey, hey, that's the one. I got that for my birthday, man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's the one I got. <laughs> uh, oh, this is your perfect fake out area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If this 15 minute was a valid resistance, this candle didn't have any business breaking that hot. But it's quite dangerous. Hey, hey Kevin, I, I have like this paper trade on, on, on my mind that I was thinking of, I would like your opinion about it uh -huh. on, on the five minutes, because mm -hmm. what I am looking on the five minutes, we have like from the, the beginning of the day, we have this kind of a range mm -hmm. right here. We have a, a potential break up here, but we failed to, to pursue on this, on this, mm -hmm. on the downside. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking if, how, if, if I can get like a, like a one minute trade right here by to 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 basically the the, the top of the range right here uh -huh. and like a basic quick 20 pips mm -hmm. is it like too much cowboy or like uh, is... it is it is <laughs> unless you know that you have to close in that specific arrow right there it is mm -hmm. a cowboy but it can be it can be a trade that you can you can manage but you need to be meh, closing a sap because price can give you just a quick move there and reject same thing that happens, you know, from the from these areas and these areas earlier on. You have to be bro, really... bro, I, bro. I was like you at the time. Now, like, like, been like one month. I don't know how long it can go. Now I first look for five dollar, then the next, if I get some profit from that profit, I risk some type of this type of breakout trades. Mm -hmm. That's it. But if if you're up for the day, yeah, up for the day. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Mini, did you read the chat? Well, Mr. Arsala said Mini wasn't selling close. <laughs> I, I, re I, I believe so. I think so too. No, 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 no. I took that uh, five, the five minutes early, bro. Early. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Mini is the next Raja Banks, just so you know. Take, take notes. Today is May 18 at 9.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mini Banks is the next Raja Banks. 
he will learn how to get, catch uh, 10 pips in profits and how to close positions that break even, even using uh, a bigger, bigger lots. Without magic keys. <laughs> Without magic keys. <laughs> trust me, man. Trust me. Mini banks is amazing. Uh, Sultan has a lot of potential, bro. Mm -hmm. Today, for, for yeah. both today party, for praising me. <laughs> but you know, Sultan, you never, uh, you should never forget, bro. The key to success is like no stop loss and adding positions, bro. That's that's the key, bro. Mohammed, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you enter with the with the previous push with this one, and then you 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 held that position until the pullback happened. Uh, okay, cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Huh? 20 minutes to go. Kevin, I laugh like I dead laughing yesterday your message. <laughs> like what? Oh. <laughs> hey, we don't. No, no, no. You still, oh, that one, no, no, that one. Still, still we don't I talk about Bruno. No no no, 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 no. Still, I remember when I see your face. That... <laughs> nah, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> hmm. Ah, no, it was a good joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fun. <laughs> Toma is here, right? Yeah, Toma. Toma, oh, how did you enjoy no, he... the, your trip in New York? Toma. No, he's not here, bro. No. Toma? Let me see. Toma. Toma. No. New York. Oh. He left, bro. He's in the queue now for touching, you know. Uh, okay. he's, um... <laughs> no, he's in the other stream. Uh... He's jumping like mini from from one stream into another. He's... <laughs> I think he's in the vacation. Yeah. No, he's back in Austin. He's back in Texas. Maybe it's his hour to go, bro. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hourly. Hourly. Uh, right. Nah, bro. It doesn't look like anything. Yeah. But, but NYSE. <laughs> Still looking for one though, huh? Yeah, I'm waiting for imagine, that. But Imagine if uh, NYSE is, is trading above the 16. I don't want to see those things. No, man, because I don't want to take those buys. No. 16, then next stop, 1825. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather use that strategy, bro, with no stop loss here and adding positions, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, is a stop loss is, is, is good in, in case of, in case of a, a fundamental, in case of something crazy happen in the market, like a heavy, heavy volume. Uh, but you, you can easily have a, a no stop loss and, and use your, if you're watching the chart. Now you have to be like an eagle, like watching the charts <laughs> completely. One minute, 30 seconds, one second candle. Um, but uh, you can you can manage your trade. But other than that, no, man. I, you have I, to be really disciplined, bro, <clears throat> to close it then, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Mental. Yeah. yeah, like when, yeah, that's the thing as well. Like when I'm, I'm using a certain stop loss, you know, I don't care like having a stop loss, this one right here and having something like this. I don't care using this kind of stop loss, but I know that if this is my 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 support candle, I need, you know, that pay attention to what may happen there. If that candle is breaking that low, then I know that I'll be closing my position or maybe closing 50%. If the candles are closing below this area, I won't let that position ruin my, my whole day using a, a huge stop loss. The only reason that I don't take... Uh, positions with fundamentals is when 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 you have a huge candle like using a 60 pip stop loss is is a no no for me because when there's fundamentals one minute in 30 seconds in a blink of an eye you can easily have a whipsaw but other than that no man i don't i don't like uh using uh you know leaving my position without stop loss because anything can happen back in the days i was mm -hmm. reading in my phone on my phone I was watching the chart when i Using not non-stop loss, <laughs> watching my chart, whatever. Somebody called, "Hey, 
yeah, I start talking. All of a sudden, I forgot what I was I was doing on my phone with my with with my with my uh, Metro Trader Four back in the days. And I remember one day without I didn't have a stop loss, and the conversation went like I would say like 15, 20 minutes. And when I I I put my phone on 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 my on my pant on my pocket later, like an hour later, I remember that I I was remember holy freaking hell. I, I had a position on GJ. I was trading GJ back in the days, like four years ago. And when I went to my phone, since I wasn't using stop loss, my position was already like 30 pips in a stop loss. And, the, and basically the target that I had was uh, like uh, 15 or 20 pips because that was the way that uh, my mentor was teaching me how to trade using uh, 30, uh, 20 pips, 30 pips in a stop loss to get uh, 15 or 20. And I was like, holy, in, in a heavy drag down at that point, I was like, freaking hell, I won't be doing this anymore. So I, since then, I started using stop losses. And, you know, something that it, it, it is, 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 is something that you as a newbie need to consider as well is to not trade on your phone. Don't, don't do it. Don't trade yeah. on your phone because, man, the charts doesn't look right. Uh, price price doesn't, doesn't make sense at all. And it's crazy, crazy uh, trading on the phone is crazy. The the reason I trade on my phone is because I have the on my on my car I have the the trading view in the in the in the GPS screen. But all that, no. Kevin, uh, hello guys, hello Kevin. Hello. Uh, about the phone, yesterday mm -hmm. I think I lost four uh, percent because I use my MetaTrader on the, my phone. Oh my god. Yes, because I don't have time for close the position of. Uh, yeah. You can't control. No. Percent. So yes. It's, it's really it's hard to close like positions on the phone. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's something that you don't you don't need to do. Yeah, it's crazy. I know people that <laughs> you know they had a really really bad experience trading on the phone, <clears throat> especially when you lose connection. Yep. Crazy man. Hey Karen, how are you? Hey, good, my brother. How are you, man? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. How everyone? How's the family? Good, my brother. Everybody's doing great. I can hear Mini and Kadira coming late these days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know that issue of an um, um, trading from your phone. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different experience, but overall, it's not a good idea whether it's a newbie or not. It is very risk, highly risk, especially when you're new to the trading. It happened to me a while ago. I was trading, I was GJ as well, mm -hmm. but I completely forgot I was in a trade. So I, I remember next night I was in profit. About oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but I ever since this, I I delete completely from my mobile phone for myself. I don't trade, I don't have a MT5 on my phone at the moment. Oh, so okay. To take it off. Yeah. So it could have gone the other way around and then closed the whole account. It was a very small account as well. Hmm. No, not a wise idea to be honest, to have this. Uh, it's, not, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. Yeah. The yeah. reason that I, uh, the way that I see it uh, when I'm trading on, on my phone, it's, uh, it, the moment I place a stop loss, that's that's the loss I'm willing because there's no way I'll be closing fifty percent if the trade is pulling back on my entry. No, there's no way. So the way that I, I see it is like this morning I had that entry right there and my stop loss eighteen twenty one point fifty. It was like you know if I had to risk this twenty five pips, I would be risking this twenty five almost thirty pips at that point. And you know I'm like you know it's okay. You know, I, I will risk it for the biscuit, but I'm I'm aiming for the bottom of that range at least. Uh, but in total honesty, trading on the phone is the worst thing that you can do. Sure, sure. Yeah. Karen, the question here that I was discussing with you last night, and um, mm -hmm. sometimes you say you have a best setup, favorite mm -hmm. setup here. Do you have a number of setup, one, two, three, five, uh, that you could say, these are the numbers I have a... Uh, no. Not, not really. I mean, the if I have to, if I had to have a, a a a the the easiest the easiest setup will be the two five minute candles creating resistance and confirmation of resistance the same as the two five minute candle creating support and confirmation of support. Like for example, 
if I had to have a, a easy setup with this one right here, with the support, rejecting the daily, this candle giving me the confirmation. This, the pullback and the moment price is breaking the high is gone. So that's a good setup. That's a, 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 a good setup. And if this, if this setup is trading with the, with the overall trend, it's even easier and, and higher probability trade. The same happened when you're looking for sales. You know, when, when you're trading sales, the moment you have resistance, confirmation of resistance, selling the low of this candle, having a stop loss, a stop loss on the second candle. But the, the pullback make complete sense to the confirmation of resistance. That's one of the easiest setups as well. It's the same as the as the pullback. The outside the second setup, outside the the, the the high probability setup as well, is uh breaking a daily a daily low when a um, when the when when obviously you're following the trend from the previous from the previous dailies and yeah. if that day if that daily doesn't have a rejection nearby okay. like for example yeah. price, um, so if, if that is specific if this is a specific break let's say the daily doesn't have any anything nearby it's even easier because at that point you're not looking for 20 pips, you're looking for impulsive entries for up to 50 pips in volume. A five minute candle that can give you that confirmation, a new five minute candle can give you easy break. Reason these rejections are happening is not being so easy for us to take those trades is because we're still struggling to leave this specific area, the 07. But trading below the 07 can be an easy one. Um, and there's a bunch of setups. All depending the timing, depending the session. Uh, like for example, uh, is in session have uh, easy setups. Like uh, when the price is is, um, is rejecting a previous area of a structure, giving you the closing on the 15 minutes. Then you can easily look for the continuation on the daily. A daily a daily candle was the uh, was the easiest one uh, uh, on a daily basis. Uh, for is in session will be following the previous daily if the previous daily is closing heavy bearish and the continuation makes sense you don't have any resistance nearby it's an easy one if you have a heavy bullish candle the continuation on a daily is really easy setup as well man we can name at least i'll say like 20 different setups that play on the daily basis like for example this one right here this is like it's pretty easy right the retest is done to this candle we just need to wait for that candle closing but what if that candle doesn't close bearish the way it is, is looking then most likely they knew a new 30 minute candle can mess up with this setup why because this candle can easily pull back close bearish but a a, a 30 minute candle can easily pull back again up to this area before the continuation and you know depending the timing the timing must be perfect and in my opinion one of the easiest the easiest uh setup will happen uh from 8 30 to 9 and from 9 30 uh, from 9 35 to 10 a.m as well the 10 a.m candle is really important for me usually the 10 a.m is the easiest one to trade when you have a certain continuation <clears throat> but um that's it doesn't it doesn't happen you know or, or every time that will be to the to perfection, uh, but they are high probability, high, higher probability setups. You know, and it's not guessing; it's based on back testing. I back tested more than six hundred hours. I have traded more. I would say almost two years already, dedicated to gold only. <clears throat> and you know, it's it's easy. Trading gold is not that complicated. We overcomplicate things when we over risk. Absolutely right. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, I got to leave. Have a good day, guys. Brother, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, Take care, Mini. Yeah, yeah you know, what, what's the best thing in this group? You know, everybody's like thinking at once, you know, like uh, not sticking to one thing. Everyone, every day is like thinking at once. Where will I get entry? At once entry. That's mm. the best thing I see here, bro. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Thank you, you so much, going, brother. Guys. Take, Take care, care bro. Take care. See you later, Mini. Yeah, Take Kevin, care, you saw that one, bro. Mm -hmm. mm, this one. Still holding that. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I went to grab water, bro, and it went in profit. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you in silk, are you? Huh? Yeah, like I said earlier, the, I, I looked for this fake out. No, I'm not in self. No, I'm not. No, he, he, you asked me, I'm here. Oh, 
Yes, Kadir, I, I was talking to you, but I know I, I'm at the uh, I'm in the same position. Good, bro. Why but you know why you entered, or? Yes, I got this fake out and uh, the confirmation and break up the uh, last mi uh, five minutes. I entered. Okay, that's good, bro. That's Thank good. You. I'm learning from the best. Kevin is the you're learning, gold you're learning father, from bro. mini banks. <laughs> Kevin is the gold father, bro. If nice. you want to learn uh, gold, you're in the right place. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, brother. I'm not best, but I I do my best. But we are. <laughs> For every time we say gold father, Dimitri comes in my mind. Oh yeah, I know that fucking guy, man. He. <laughs> Man, I lost a lot of money because of that guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Man, and it was crazy. I was in his group, you know, yeah. and uh, he called trades. Uh -huh. You're going to call? You ca no, no, no. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. He, wa he was, he was calling trades, right? But uh, the thing is, like, he, he never used a stop loss, bro. So the moment uh, the trades were in drawdown, he didn't write anything in the group, but then after it pulled back and it went and drawed on like hundred pips, he said like I didn't use a stop loss, but I'm in profits now, guys. Secure, you know. Wow. <laughs> Who's that? that? Fucking guy. Like, uh, ah, man, it's a random guy. Like uh, his name is uh, Goldfather, Dimitri. Oh. Like typical forex guru, bro. He makes money with courses, but uh, doesn't know how to trade at all. Yeah. Like Daniel Savage style, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, this is your resistant confirmation resistant. The pullback right exactly, here is yeah. of breaking that low. It's just uh, an issue because there's a, a 30 minute candle coming nearby. So that's, yeah. that's adding uh, too much risk for that trade. Uh, especially because the way the 30 minute candle is looking. Uh, mm -hmm. Imagine if that candle, do you think that candle can flip uh, bearish to make it worth it to the 11? 10 pips, 20 pips to the 11 right here. And then a new 30 minute candle giving you that continuation. It's very rare to have that specific move. Uh, you yeah, know, that's and, pretty aggressive. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, the reason I'm not taking that sales. I'm safe because I my entry is way at the top. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to let this one breathe a little bit more. I secured already 50. But I'm trying to see. I mean, I don't see this daily giving like huge moves at this point, but mm -hmm. maybe you know, m maybe we we uh, we can get something, and that's why I'm holding still. Yeah. Okay. Oh, since we have like time for now, about that setup, Kervin, uh, that the the homework setup. Can mm -hmm. you please give more details if you if you can? I'm not sure if it's my end, uh, but I. Your voice is cutting off. Oh, uh, I told you about the, mm -hmm. the home setup, uh -huh. uh, the setup that you us to to search for like a homework. Yeah. Can you give us like more details so that we can be more uh, oriented and, and basically look for it? Okay. So what I what I want you guys to do, uh, it's uh, give me more drawings here. Uh, Pay attention how the structure is looking on the on the forever here it's pretty messy the forever is pretty messy so at that point you don't need anything in there uh now that that is structure right there it's looking pretty bullish right so now you drop uh depending the session this is already new york depending the session you move to the five minutes there and look for the structure that you have if the continuation is valid what time is this one already? Oh, this is the closing for the daily candle. Uh, so, you know, the, the daily. So daily candle is closing a strong bullish. So what do you need from here? What you need is continuation of that bullish move, right? So therefore, you drop to the ASIN session. You drop to the 15-minute candles here. Uh, uh, give me a second. The 15-minute candles. You look for the continuation. What where makes sense the continuation? And where do you have the main, main areas of, of a structure? Is this one right here? as well this area right here this is the nearest one the the 60 above the 70 uh the 70 right here the 70 is roughly there right there uh 
the, the seven is nearby. So what happened here is that you will have this specific structure and play, uh, you know, uh, driving pricing ranges. So in that specific area, what you need to do is something like this, for example, right? The deepest pullback is this one. The deepest pullback doesn't mean that you need to sell from here to, to here if you don't have enough uh, risk reward. Right. So what makes sense is continuation. Where do you think the continuation can happen? If you have daily candles to the left hand side, if you have, um, you know, a, a, a near a key level that is nearby, like in this case, the 80, then you need to pay attention. How can you look for a continuation before it happened? What I need is pull back here kind of fake out from this area and the candles closing bullish to, to give me that continuation. Heaviest pullback, this one right here. Let's see what happened here on the 15 minutes. Well, uh, it's not it's not it's not worth it. This is is maybe news from previous from previous days, but uh, and maybe fundamentals from war tension whatever, and that's why. But usually, what you look is that a specific continuation on the daily. But let's let's move on. Let's let's continue moving with this specific candle here. Okay, here, here is the thing: the continuation is what makes sense, right? Uh, this lady is driving me crazy. Um, <clears throat> so the continuation is what makes sense. Where do you have the range? Grab it here. Anything that can smell bullish outside this area right here and leave in this specific cont uh, contention, this previous rejection makes a lot of sense. Now, if this was fundamental, if the move will be corrected, you need a 15 minute candle. If it's is in session, if it's London session, depending the session, this is in session. So. so you need a continuation to the upside, not to the downside, because the previous daily was, was heavy bullish. Uh, the problem here is that if you have a this candle as your support and you have a, a, a bearish candle trading below this area, you can counter trend your own move. Now, mainly you're looking for continuation of that move. How? With 15 minute candles moving outside that specific area of contention. If not, this is giving you rejection. See how trapping volume in these magic boxes is good for your eyes? You don't, you don't easily get caught on the hype of buying in here. If you don't have this specific candle here, it, that specific box, you see this candle? Oh, let's buy, let's buy. No, grab that specific information there. Grab the previous rejections. You know, this one right here, for example, grab those previous rejections. And from there, the moment you have price breaking and closing outside this area, you have a better chance. If it's breaking this candle support, then it's going the other way around. That candle right there is still rejecting, ranging. That candle right there. That candle is closing below the magic box. At this point, this is a conf the resistance. This is the confirmation of resistance. This is a new hourly candle. So therefore, you go to the. You have to pay attention to all the time frames possible. You go to the previous hourly candle and see what happened with the previous hourly. The previous hourly. Let me delete these candles right here because I'm. Uh, if I have to look to the to the to the hourly, we'll miss the, the whole thing. Okay, that's a rangy. That's a rangy candle. It's giving you resistance. It's giving you resistance. So leaving that low, breaking this low can give you whole correction to the previous key level. So if you're having that specific uh, candle closing below this area, all you need is uh, basically, if you have to look for shorts, you'll be looking anything Impulsive, you will need price leaving this area. Impulsive no, doesn't work here because the daily candle was bullish. The previous daily candle was bullish, but you can easily look for something like this overall and most likely overall this target to make it worth it, right? Now, this is 55 pips in volume to get maybe 150 is one to three risk reward. What happened here that you can easily move depending the volume, you can easily move to the lower time frames in here. And here is a trick. Those five minute candles are creating support. Main reason here will be leaving those lows right there. If it's leaving those lows, there's no doubt that price is going is going down. But if it's respecting those lows, then you don't have any business. Now we're heading downtown. It's quite fishy, but it's heading downtown. Now see the structure in here is respected. This was the retest, and now your stop loss can be somewhere here. And it, and to be picky, you need. This position right here, since this position is, is in this area, let's say if that candle is doing something like this, for example, and that's a better position for you to consider. If the next five minute candle is breaking, say this is closing near to the hourly candle close, this makes a hell of a fishing move. This is a hell of a fishing move. 
Why? Because a new hourly candle can easily take you take you out from that from that trade before the continuation. That those are the it's high probability trade. It's a, a not a high probability trade because it's counter trending, but it's a good it's a good trade if the candles live in this area right here. But what happened is that the the hourly candle it's 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 closing. It's it's about to close. So therefore, you may have a a a, a bad a bad uh, risk reward if the new hourly candle doesn't break the previous hourly candle low. But those are the tra the trades that you can easily look. Looking for the 15 minute candle sometimes is risky. So then you move when the volume when volume is too much. Like for example, the 15 minute is way too much volume. This 15 minute candle in volume. Let's see how many how many pips is this candle? Yeah, it's 33 pips in volume. That 15 is not that bad though. But if this candle is your support, that candle doesn't any candle doesn't need to break this low right here, and you can move to the lower time. The 15 minute candle is always a better confirmation for is in session when there's no when it's average move uh, average volume. <clears throat> See, so those are the trades that you need to pay attention on on a daily basis. So if it's a high probability, it will be because of, of the of the of the timing. Timing must be perfect. Like for example, look at that trade right there. That 30 minute candle was bullish. Every 30 minute candle now is opening and is is creating a new high, a new high, a new high. So at this point, you don't have a, any business looking for for that continuation. If the continuation is valid. This is only the first five minute candle on the on the 30 minute. Usually, if this was your five minute candle, the next one, if the volume is correct, the next five minute candle is the following for this candle right here. So can give you the move that you may need to the to the upside. It's counter trending the previous daily, and you have plenty of rejections here. So you have to be really careful if it's worth it for you to consider that the break of that candle right there using something like this, because it's counter trending something that was looking looking bearish on the daily. Uh, and aiming, obviously, this is the contention area you have. This is specific area right here. This is the contention area. If this is a valid support, this candle needs to respect the low and break the high. But if it's, it's respecting the high and breaking the low, then it's going the opposite way. And at this point, the 30 minute candle then can give you a pullback first. But it's, it's way too risky on a, at this at this time. It's, it's too risky because this five minute is telling the opposite room from the what, what what the four hour candle is saying. It's hell of a risky move. <clears throat> yeah, gold is just teasing right now, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still holding that runner, oh, okay. but. Yeah, let's see. My entry is pretty good, so I can hold that position. Let it breathe, bro. Let it breathe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think in this hour you're gonna break the previous one hour low. It will have to be 15 minute kind of low. Yeah, but I mean, if you look at the 30 minutes, bro, mm -hmm. and two 30 minutes rejecting like 18, heavy. 15. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I was looking yeah. at. Yeah, yeah. And and why, bro? You know. Maybe because there is not enough volume or power to push price higher. So at this point, what makes sense for me is hold this thing, maybe at least to retest the bottom of the range. Mm -hmm. And then I can secure some again. And maybe if we get really lucky, this daily gives us a big move. But I don't see it yet because we don't have volume. 27. Breaking that low means 27. <laughs> And price will need to stay below this specific area. Nah, from there, it's not worth, bro. Uh, from the break of this low. Look at that low. It's that specific stop versus. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot to consider. Unless you're aiming maybe one to one in no time. Really quick. Really quick in there. Can be clutch. I mean, the structure in the uh, daily hasn't changed. The daily is still bearish. You know, yeah. daily structure is still bearish. The daily can, you know, can be saying like a nothing candle here, uh, but it's still bearish. I I like sells better than than buys. In total honesty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is why this five minute candle doesn't see. This is why I don't, I don't, I don't want to have a, like a PDF saying, oh, if the five minute candle from New York session is bullish, then go for buys. If the four, that five minute, the first five minute from the NYSE is bearish, go for sales. No, because it's different case scenario. There's 
well, any of, uh, of, 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 um, of um, different things that can happen in the market. Like this yeah. kind of closing bullish doesn't mean uh, look for buys on, on gold. And, you know, it's, it's, yeah, like that's like for, for the most part, it's like that, but every day is circumstantial. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you, you don't know what's going on as news or any fundamental that's not sort of mainstream. Like you just, don't yeah. Know. yeah. The thing is, especially with gold, you see that a lot of times, like what Kervin says with that fake support, you know, like yeah. let me check. Well, for example, this one is perfect one. You know, this candle is giving you all oh, bullish, right? It's support. But why is this candle now breaking the low? Yeah. Because that was just a briefer, you know? Yeah. This was just a briefer. And if it breaks that support, that support is not valid anymore. So we're going down. Yeah, let me. Do you have the five minute candle close? Yeah, 940. I hope it's not a late move again, bro. Because yeah. the last weeks it was depressing. Every time, just late move is just yeah. oh yeah, baby girl. Easy. <laughs> Look at that close. Oh my god. No, bro. Now you can't enter anymore, bro. Because no. this closing is a shitty closing. Wait. Let's wait. Little, little tiny pullback here to this area. Yeah, fifty percent, and then drop down. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. that candle gives you a push first, and then breaking its own low, but. Breaking that law is quite fake. You know? that <laughs> well, look at the 15 minutes. 15 <laughs> minutes is telling the story. <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah, 15 but minutes is telling still, the story. But the 15 still can uh, retest this. Area. If the retest is done, it's even be easier. You know, if the yeah. retest is done, then yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, some, it's a higher probability. Yeah, trade. creating a yeah. little lower wick. Like, like, because this is like John Wick, bro. <laughs> yeah. This is John yeah. Wick right now, you know? The moment yeah. you enter, bro, boom, pull back. Yeah. The only reason it's worth it is because you're playing with the higher time frames, right? Yeah. yeah. So exactly. sales is what makes sense, not not looking for buy that that. Point. Yeah, I mean, with 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 all those resistance candles in the thirty minutes, I mean, yeah, typically I'd say, yeah, sure. I mean, sales look good right now, but yeah. I mean, uh -huh. I've been here since what eight a.m. and it's <laughs> it's been up and down. <laughs> I would be doing nothing right now. Yeah. Bro, your dog uh, barked there. He told you to full margin, bro. I think I you know. can trust him. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. He said full margin, no stops. 1813.3 has to res be respected. No let, me, no, let me not cut to the one minute. Though. That's I'm good. looking at the one minute that a point three has to get respect, bro. Max pullback here. And this can in the last two minutes, you want to see either rejection from here, which is this one right here and previous area of support, or max, max pullback, this one right here. But you don't want to see this candle closing bullish. You want to see this candle doing the 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 the, the bad the uh, nasty job on the pullback the first two minutes and then the last three oh, go, going downtown going downtown yeah that's okay I know you can do it yeah go for it go for it a little bit higher okay that's pretty much it yeah that's very much it good. See, beautiful. Now, here is when things get interesting here. Mm -hmm. Now, does the max max pullback there? That candle needs to reverse. If it's not do if it's not doing that, man, it's going. Yeah, it's, it's gone, gone so, bro. It's oh, gone yeah. so. It's gone so. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. you have you need to close those those positions in in no time. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Crazy push. And this is classic, classic, classic. Okay. It, it was now, playing in that range quite a bit. It's probably going to move yeah, quite a bit now. I won't be surprised if we manage to get there. Let's see. Let's That's why you need to wait. Kind of close. Let's wait. Let's wait. That one minute. I'll wait for that one minute. Yeah, hey, one minute's projecting. Thirty-two, thirty-two. Against the boards. Let's wait for that five minutes. I'm gonna miss them up to the upside, to be honest. No, oh, but I don't see downside anymore. No. And At one minute, uh, retesting that area, it's it's. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. miss. I'm gonna miss them up to the upside, but it's it's way too much risk for me. 
having 30 something pips in in a stop no 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 it's done already at this point yes it's it's gone so many it's gone so I think, uh, good morning, everyone. I think it, it will be one of the weird Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Nina. Go ahead. Yeah. Because if this candle mm -hmm. is coming back to retest this resistance and giving you a close above this resistance, is is going to retest the daily high. For and sure. And man, that, that thing can. It's gone at that point. Oh, hey, yeah. from there. Yeah. Really but it's okay, bro. I don't go in buys. It's no. it's Karen, done for me at this point. No. no. Yeah, Karen, can you hear me? Yeah, man. We've got one minute left for 15 minutes candle. Mm -hmm. And it's already uh, bullish. So can we not get the re reverse on 50% of the new 15 minutes? Uh, can it's get a risky minute. one. It's a risky yeah, one. I mean, it could happen, but yeah. It's... It's, it's a risky one, to be honest. Yeah. It may happen, but it's a risky. <clears throat> Having that fifty percent is 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 too easy. Today is a weird day. Looks like we are closing on below the uh, key level fifteen. I think. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. The closing is good. You know, the closing is good. The problem here mm -hmm. is that having a since it's trading below this resistance still, this can give you easy easy pullback to this area. <coughs> easy pullback. With how today is going yeah, at this point, it's gonna fuck up just know. everyone, bro. <laughs> yeah. <Good. laughs> so it's better to just stay away of this shit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how are you doing, bro? Good, brother. And you? Yeah, uh, today's a weird day. <laughs> yeah. Not a good. Main area of rejection is this one. I'd rather wait for price leaving this area than taking trades in here. <clears throat> yeah. But it's, it's looking it's looking like it's gonna take a breather outside that resistance. It's looking like everything, bro. To be honest. Yeah. No, like, honestly, the, the way the has been going, I wouldn't be surprised if this touches back down to eighteen twelve. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's, the it's whole purpose real. of this candle right here just... is to confuse you, in in my opinion. Yeah. The whole purpose of that candle is to confuse you. To take I a... still haven't changed my bias to the eighteen hundred. <laughs> still. Yeah. Fucking just got my runner, bro, and is now back in my, yeah. uh, in profits. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! I... <laughs> oh, that's oh just that's depressing. Uh, yeah, this cat is just enticing you to look for 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 buys, man. It's just tricky. Bro, you. if you on my terminal, I don't know on your terminal, Kevin, but on my terminal, it didn't even broke that uh, week on the left. I put my stop there, but spread open up a little bit wide, and it took me out. Wow. Fucking hell, man. Yeah. The last That's depressing, bro. Now, see, <laughs> wow, fuck. I'm telling you, man. Like, I'm not surprised. This is I'm honestly not surprised. I'm telling you, man. I don't I, like I, trading I don't, in this, this is, specific. This now setup, you have to sell, bro. Setup, it's going to no. reject. <laughs> you know this what I will do? I will sell this thing. If it's breaking this law, I will sell this thing. No oh, matter what. I will, hell, I will, man. I will risk 20 man. pips in no time there. Oh, God. Uh, I, I, told you, I told you guys, it's going to be a weird Wednesday. Yeah, it yeah, is. it's yeah, it's definitely weird. Okay, Colt, give me that drop, and we're talking about the last two minutes before this five minute candle close. Let's see. Fucking if you can, hell, if you bro. can make it. If you can make it, give me that drop. That's yeah. If it's breaking that thing after the rejecting that fifteen, we'll be kick. Yeah, I mean, it didn't close above. <laughs> well, close above but at that point, I have that shitty entry, bro. At that point, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... at that point. Leaving that specific area, this is a but max stop. What an ugly day. But that and one that, minute closing is you know substantially what? strong. No, you know what? I enjoyed the profits from today, and I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'm not risking anything in here. Nah, hell no. It's not worth it. It can play out to the downside, all the way to the downside, because this rejection is clever. This is beautiful. If the push was nice and easy, why this candle is reversing completely, closing back in this area? You can ruin your complete life trading in these specific areas yeah. right here. Yeah. Trust that's me. That's a thing, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Bro, that's depressing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Like, can is it like a good trade to do like a sell stop below 1810, stops above 1811, and basically aim for that? bleed off until the 1800s mm. like a swing trade because 
we're already on, on like the end of the day sort of like volume is starting to shrink uh -huh. i don't know yeah i mean having a a uh, a trade below these previous rejections makes complete sense and at that point the retest is done rejection is happening and then you have an easy job going downtown that's why i was yeah. like you know if, if it's breaking that law i can consider that entry it's approaching to the 10 a.m. candle closing. And at that point, if the 10 a.m. candle is giving me rejection and leaving this specific area, a new 10 a.m. will just boom to the yeah. downside to retest the daily low. And at that point, that candle won't, won't be able, uh, the daily low won't be able to hold because it's the third time that price is going back to retest the daily low. But I mean, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's quite dangerous. It's quite dangerous. I no, to man, I close my terminal at this point. <laughs> But that was that thing, bro, when you think like, yeah, that no stop loss thing works, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but the way, it, like if it broke to the upside, I mean, you're, it's, I mean, it was, it was going to run. Yeah. At least 1820, right? Yeah, yeah but I, it was just a runner, bro, you know? So yeah, that's, that's that was uh, what's depressing now at this point. <laughs> just a small chocolate, yeah, but small that chocolate pasta. could have paid a lot if we mm -hmm. could get, uh, get that big move, you know? Yeah. Exactly. No, it's fine. I mean, when I look at this, I mean, price has no clue where it wants to go no. right now. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, it can just way, easily range. You get a break to the upside or downside, it's going to be a big move once it yes. finally does break that range. Yes, yes. Yeah, but at that point, I'm gone, bro. At the moment, Kevin closed the stream and we're all calling it a day, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, yeah. Then you we'll get your the trading chats. view alert. <laughs> we'll, we'll be in the chats. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's a better idea. I think yeah. it's better to call it a day. Look, uh, mm -hmm. let me. The moment uh, Kevin is calling it a day, it's gonna move, bro. 10.60. Huh? Yeah, go ahead. You see that five minutes goes up and another five minutes goes down. It looks like we're in a range, and that's a All fake out. Right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fake out. And the minute that goes down, the support of the five minute uh -huh. is going down. down. Yeah. Going to the south. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Going south. Now, yeah. this candle right here, it needs to do exactly what we were looking before. Like going back, mm -hmm. retest this specific yellow line. But if, <laughs> if the market is not heading downtown, <laughs> yeah, this candle like can they... easily go back, retest that high and start you know, just trading. <laughs> yeah. You can waste your whole account trading this kind of setup. It's just, exactly. Yeah. It's and then when the good setups come, you're like, oh, fuck. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's, the and thing. that's what gold does to you. Yeah. You waste your bullets now thinking it's going up. Oh, it's going down. It's going up. It's going down. And all it's doing is collecting contracts. It's ranging. And when the move happened to the downside, specifically below this area right here, it, it will be a steady move to the downside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> at least to retest that low, bro. Yeah. At least. But at that point, if the daily is reversing, you know where it's going, you know? Yeah. Let me wait. Uh... And that fall would flip at that point. I mean, the only reason I don't think it might not go to the upside is just because I feel like if it was going to do it, it would have done it by now. I mean, you have all these resistance candles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true, bro. That's true. It's easy. 20 yeah. Pips, 20 pips to that high. It's a lot. It's a lot to consider that drop to this area at least. Ten a.m. Yeah, ten a.m. is the one that can give you the option there, or or maybe the last five minutes before the ten a.m. candle opens. So that five, the last five minute, give you that break. Oh, push, yeah. Ten a.m. just will blast to the downside, going south hundred pips from the ten. Oh man. To the eighteen hundred. <laughs> another <laughs> Lambo. Another, another Lambo. Sir. Another Lambo. <laughs> That's the main area of contention. That one right there, at twelve point twenty. That one right there. That's the main area of contention. Bring a microscope. I shot two bullets just now. I sh I shot two bullets. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <Yeah. laughs> oh boy. Oh, Holy. That pullback is good. At that point, that liquidity has to go somewhere, at least to these previous areas of rejections. I called. Let's do this thing. I won't be considered that entry, but uh, just for paper trade. 
Uh, if it breaks that pink line, it's gone. So. I guess you don't have the balls, right? To break that pink line. You don't? Or you don't? No, no. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make some people guess again for another five minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you don't? Oh, are you telling me you don't have the enough volume to break that pink line? For real? That's the last one minute of the candle, I like guess. For some reason, I don't trust you. I know you can do it. That one minute break is 1800, cake. inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. 1800, <laughs> one shot. 1800 inshallah. with the 10 a.m. candle opening. Let's go, baby Here girl. Slip my TP, baby. I want to see that TP get slipped. Bro. I know you can do it. Yeah. Pay Fucking hell. Pay attention. Pay attention there. Fucking yes. hell, bro. Pull that alert. Trigger that alert. Trigger it. I know you can do it. Come on, baby sir. Obviously, you can. <laughs> I know you can do it. Yeah, oh, Kevin, talk. And, it, and won't be the last. I know you can do it. Okay, cool. Closing, beautiful. That closing is good. Now. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's a no, break. To that no range. topic. Let me see. No, that no, it, it'll probably retest it for the amount of times it's been bouncing in there. Nah, bro, I don't. I like this closing. It's, it's gone. So. Nah, but it's gone. Yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see. Hopefully, that five minutes just do a small, Fuck little, tiny you, pullback man. here. <laughs> Continue. But having yeah, this hey, is listen, the, don't, don't it, get it, leaving the family here, man. Yeah. Bro, my my runner would be like again in thirty bye. pips in profits. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. Don't be scared. That's it. You know, if it's breaking that high, then yeah, close your position. I mean, I, I have to, I have to consider breaking that high is uh, is is not worth it anymore. Yeah, but uh, other than that, you just hold that position, hold a little bit longer. Is it is the 10 a.m. candle the the one that's coming is going is coming in play now? Just pay attention how the hourly candle can flip in this area right here. If that hourly candle, instead of giving you a push above this area, is flipping, oh. then the 10 a.m. candle can give you a nasty move to the downside. Oh no, it's not. It's not going. No. I'm still in profits, that's, like just seven pips. Nothing deepest. crazy. That's the deepest. But the heaviest pullback ever. That's the fifty oh, percent no. at this point, bro. No. The yeah, it's the boat. pullback is roughly there. So still have some juice to the down. Bro, <laughs> 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 so you're like wishful thinking, like yeah, girl, you gotta keep talking pullback. to him, man. It was working. <laughs> Let me see no, that I one minute break. Do. I mean the I mean the thirty the thirty minute time it just it screams sells to me. I mean it's got a huge yeah, but, resistance. But 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 for all the guys, if you didn't enter at like at that five minute break, don't enter now. Yeah, yeah that's five risky. minute needs to do something like this. So yeah, yeah. yeah no, now baby girl, move, go. see that. move move from here. Move. Stop the, the alert. Move. Stop the alert. Let's go. Risky uh, one. Where's my drawing tool? I need to resist in so you guys can see the candle before it happened. Yeah, right there. Yeah, keep keep going for these guys so they can profit. It on always does what Kevin says, yeah. bro. That's that's a good thing if you trade with Kevin. That that, that he draws the there. candle if you, and if the you market guys... maker goes and sees, okay, Kevin got this uh, draw, drew this candle. We gotta do this one, you know. Yeah. They've got if a separate you're... phone and they call it like, is Kerwin in the trade? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We have enough volume now. At this yeah, we have enough volume. Yeah, yeah. We have enough volume. <laughs> we got the gold whisperer but, here. But, but see, guys, yeah. like all the guys uh, that jumped in here, that's your retailer uh, bait here. When, yeah. when this high got broken, yeah. oh, every retailer jumped in on those buys, you know, yeah. thinking it's gonna be an easy job, but forgetting about the bigger picture. Yeah. You know? yeah. Now 10 a.m. is coming in play. Uh, make sure yeah. whoever is holding that position, make sure to, to secure some. I mean, at this point, you guys should be securing most of your position. Yeah. You don't want to ruin your day. Remember, if the 10 a.m. candle, remember, this is the hourly candle we wanted to see, right? A bearish candle closing with a heavy rejection. Now, at the opening, look at this 144, 143 seconds right there. Pay attention when this candle. Uh, when this candle closes, when the hourly candle closes, pay attention. And when the five minute candle opens, pay attention. Why? Because depending where this five minute candle closes, at, at hourly candle open will be a little to no top week and a weak field to the hourly, to the downside. If 
this five minute candle managed to leave these previous rejections. Hopefully that happens. And you know, trading at the 10, I know that can be can be really hard for price to give you a steady continuation, but at least breaking that 1810 can give you plenty of options to the downside. You know, don't don't be scared about pullbacks, whatever. The main idea here is that the uh, in one minute, two seconds, a 10 a.m. candle will give you the weak field on the five and a possible lower or lower wick for the continuation. That's that's basically if the hourly candle close up uh, uh, bearish. Uh, bearish yeah. Yes, uh -huh. this area right here now will be your contention area in the next one minute, right there. Keeping that one hour bearish. Now, yes. yeah. 39 seconds. Pay attention. It, it, it's, it's like clockwork. It, it, it tends to happen, I will say, 80% of the times. Heaviest pullback ever. Uh, the, the high of this candle right here. Uh, well, not not, not, not really. Yeah, I think that would make this, a candle flip, which would this, psych out say, retailers. This one right here, yeah. This candle right here. This area right yeah. here is the deepest, the deepest pullback there. It's roughly 12 pips, uh, 20 pips. No. You go no, 10 18, seconds. 18 pips, something like that. Yeah. Seven seconds. And it, it can give you 20 pips in no time. There's your top wick. Mm -hmm. That's the top wick. Yeah, with the way it rains, I think it could at least touch the bottom of that range. <clears throat> what am I looking at here? At. Um... It's quite fishy. It's taking so much time for that move to happen. Uh, Usually, what you get is straight, straight move. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yes. Twenty pips below the ten is making it to the eighteen oh eight. Now, if the pullback is complete, this high right here needs to be respected. Ah, uh, wait a second. We have rejection here. Okay. It's a little tiny candle there. Uh, max pullback is coming, it's coming, it's coming. Five seconds for that one minute. Three seconds, three seconds, one second. One minute just close. Yeah, it's reversing completely. It's reversing completely. That one minute needed to hold that resistance right there. This one right here. Still have to deal with this previous area of contention, but give it a little bit of time. That trade, that trade will pay out. That's good, bro. This that is just one hour. Yeah, that trade will pay. If that can reject that uh, 18, 18, uh, 1811, that trade will pay. <clears throat> Give it a little bit of time. I may consider to take that entry, to be honest. I haven't taken that entry, but I will I will take that entry. Uh, I mean, the one hour is telling me the story, bro, at this point. So yeah. I'm not worried at all. Yeah. And I secured like 80% on that, so it's fine. Oh, just one off-topic question. Like my my wife just called me, uh, and she said she, her uh, IG got hacked with, with oh, a really? random website. You guys know what to do when when you get hacked? Definitely change your password right away. But oh, if wait, she, she can't she, lock oh, her, she can't she, log in. Oh, fuck. yeah. Uh, my I happened to my uncle like three weeks ago. He actually he had to end up making a new account. Oh. oh. Yeah, I know. Shit. Fuck. She might try to change all her password if she can, because that happened to my mom as well in her bank account, and everything's just got hacked. Too. Oh damn! But but if she if she can't log in, then there is nothing to do. I mean, even if she uh, she got hacked on Instagram, right? There's a possibility they got her other password as well. So just you know, register is. That's just my opinion. Mm. That trade is taking ages. It's not worth it. Yeah. Almost at my entry at this point. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it, it, it would have made a move down if it was going to yes. go down. Yes, yes, yes. The first one minute is the pullback, and the next, the second oh. minute is just a straight continuation. At this yeah. point, it's not doing that. It's create. It's about to create an older support. Yeah, yeah. And it will be the daily candle will be closing like a like a nothing like a, a range candle. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of 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 you know I was considering to take that break below this candle. 
without me because I'm not giving me anything. No, at this point, I might break even. Let me see if I can survive. This, uh, this is the thing, and it's coming for more. It's coming for more. Nah, it's yeah. gonna go up. It's a shame that it's taking so long for the trade to play. Yeah. Yeah, this today is not that day where you get that your ten dollars, bro. Mm -hmm. No, and no. It, it, it may it may happen. It may happen. The problem here is that trading at this specific uh the daily the daily low here. Uh the four hours here. The four hours is is quite it's quite uh, it's quite dangerous. All this area right here, this this is uh, is basically the range that is creating in the four hours. That's all. It's but if you look at it, bro, it's like this is, I mean, this is a really really bad NY session because mm -hmm. five dollar range, bro, is like nothing for NY. Yeah, normally. Which makes me think that the move is going to be later. Yeah. I yeah, if so. it did, yeah. I think so too. Whatever, I'm gonna call the day at this point, guys. Take yeah. care, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not gonna chase this one. I, I'm in profits after all, so I don't have to. Uh... Oh yeah, I the move the move. Uh, you know, it's it's it, it will it will happen at the 10 a.m. candle with the hourly candle rejection. The 10 a.m. candle is the one who's gonna take over the, the for the for that easy drop. Why is not happening? Is giving the moment that f first one minute. You know, you had the initial push uh, on the one minute. And it's not getting respected. The high is not being respected. Then it's it's, it's reversal. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Just call it a day. Wait until maybe later. Yeah, so man. If you see something good. Um, Take living, care, bro. Leaving yeah. this area make perfect sense. Leaving this specific area make perfect sense. Now nah, this is closing like a fake out here. But the fake out would be valid if we come back, retest this pink line. Uh, like for example, in here. Yeah, safe. If if you have something like this, for example. Oh, oh what? Wait, what I really freaking have then really lost. Freaking just lost. So the main area uh, of range will be basically this one right here. If you have if you had to consider some, this is your main area of range. Having this fake out here, fake out in this area right here, fake out here. This is plain and simple continuation. So it makes sense now, based on the fake out, makes sense going back to retest these previous areas right here, uh, right there. But staying below this this um, this area eh, is not worth it for the upside. I still look for a downside move, but depending on how price behave later later in the session here, in here, like taking a breather pullback and continuation. To retest this specific area, and you know, at that point is 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 is, um, is something that you have to consider if you're gonna hold, or you know, breaking uh, again below this area is because we'll retest the hourly candle low, and at that point the hourly candle is rejecting again, and that hourly can give you options to the downside. But yeah. All right, I'm uh, done for the day, guys. We'll yeah. Yeah. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, me too, bro. <laughs> Take care. Take care, bro. All right, okay. stay safe, everybody. Uh, let me read the chat before I go so I don't miss any questions here. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I show you? Have a good day, Kirby. Thank you, brother. See you, you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, man. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day, Papi. Bye. Bye-bye, brother. Bye-bye, Paige. Bye. Uh oh yeah all right see you see you tomorrow guys or we'll catch you later on the chat if you if you send me signals send me signals over here <laughs> yeah price is breaking this support because it's going to be a blue button hopefully all right take care guys see you tomorrow all the best